versus everything. is everything. Why 
Why, hello there. Welcome back. My uh, stream computer reset, so my camera went back to default settings. It kind of looks kind of blotchy. It's all right. I didn't have time to fix all the colors. Anyway, welcome back. How's everyone doing? L getting banned. All right. Let me catch up. I'll tell you guys what's going on. Thanks for being here. It is very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It always, this Logitech camera always resets all the settings. Anytime the computer reboots. Oh well. All right, let me uh, catch up. Sit, welcome in. Luna, old chameleon, Jaliet, Ben, thank you for the subscription. Seven months, it's story time. Story time again. It's been a while. It's been a couple months, but I'll tell you guys what's up in a moment. How's it going, Ben? What's the line again? Yeah, I'll definitely do the line. Don't worry. Bob's kid. Welcome in. Thank you for coming back. King Loser. Uh, ending early, not starting late. Yeah. I'll tell you guys why also. It's kind of interesting. Something I've never done before. I mean, I've ended early before, but that's not. Anyway, L, welcome in. Jalara, thank you for the lurk. No problem. I appreciate it. Tree Bones. Welcome back. It's been a little while, Tree Bones. One in from Brazil. It's your first time here. That's awesome. Welcome in, Major. They were coming in. Um, how'd you find the stream through YouTube? Baby carrots, welcome in. You're actually gonna be here for a stream, baby carrots. Don't you blame the internet, Mer blame it for everything. Uh oh, you did a Twitch Prime. Did you do it while I was offline? I didn't see it. Uh, thank you, Barky. Very much appreciated. It helps out. Do 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 do. Bell is dead. I think I'm all caught up. Haven't seen the notification yet either. Hmm. Hmm. Let me double check. Oh, it looks like it was right before I came online. So I'll do it again. Here we go. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Dark Zarge content. HCB stream Dark Zarge 2. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I will be doing it uh, day of release. Uh, Barky, thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Barky. It counts as a tier one, so I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me torch run. It was so entertaining. That's awesome. Thank you for watching that. Yeah. There's more on there. There's some newer ones on there if you're interested. I feel like they're better made, but the challenge isn't as hard. But there's an all boys and all girls run. Uh, I think you can do exclamation boys and exclamation girls if you want the playlist. Goggle, welcome in. Ock, welcome in. Oh, thank you guys for being here. Always so excited about our decision. You look at streams and never caught you. Gotcha, gotcha. Stop, for everyone. Want to let you know, playing through Addison Rimworld, they retaliate calling. Oh, yeah, no worries. It, it helps, though, so I do appreciate it. Darkest Dungeon has a release date. It does. I just announced it two days ago. It comes out on October 26th. It will be out next month. Next month. Our modest fellowship expands. <clears throat> Praise the sub. Uh, Dolvich. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime also. Thank you, Dol. Like I said, very much appreciate it. It does count the same as a tier one, so thank you for the support. All right, so a couple things. First off, you will notice that I don't have a RimWorld as the category. You might be hearing, well, where's RimWorld? Adam always plays RimWorld. Where's RimWorld? Is he done with RimWorld forever? No, no. Uh, so used to, we, one day a week, I would play something different. One day a week, just one day a week. Uh, and I stopped doing that for a couple months during 1.3 and Ideology. Uh, but I, every time I do this, like every time I go to a singular game for a couple months, uh, either because of a new release or something like that, uh, I will get people coming in. They're like, "What's going on with RimWorld? You're not going to play RimWorld again?" And I'm like, "One day a week, one stream a week, I'm going to play something else." Uh, so anyway, in a dungeon crawls, uh, yeah, it just depends on the game, of course, of course, but yeah. I play all kinds of games. I, I like I like games. It's here at the same time. Uh, so, actually, your story will tell you more. But basically, what I would do is once a week. Uh, it used to be on Mondays. Now it's on Wednesdays. I will play through a story game that I'm blind to that I missed over the years. And we've done a lot of really fun playthroughs. So I played blindly through the whole Mass Effect trilogy uh, way before the remaster came out. Um, Uncharted, uh, Dragon Age series. Lots of things. God of War, all kinds of things. 
it's a lot of fun because I miss these things over the years because of work or family or playing other games, running a raiding guild and WoW, that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, it's, it's really fun to go back and play through these things that I missed. And uh, I am blind to the game. I know some sometimes, like uh, when I was playing, what was it? Uh, maybe even the first Dragon Age. When I was playing the first Dragon Age, no, it was Mass Effect, specifically Mass Effect. Uh, when I was playing the first Mass Effect blindly on stream, I had a lot of people coming in, they're like, you're not really blind to it, right? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, how is it possible you don't know what happens in Mass Effect? And I was like, I can't know every game and everything that happens in every game. I'm sorry, I never played it. Uh, so anyway, Our modest fellowship point is, expands. if you're blind to it, Praise let's figure it out yourself. together. Now, the thing about Dragon Age Inquisition, we've been playing this for like a year. We've been playing this like a year. So, um, and we are really far into the game. It is friggin' insanely long, and we're finally in late game. But uh, it's been a couple months since I played it, so today's gonna be a chill day. Getting back in the swing of things. Uh, we'll probably go around, do some side quests, try to remember things. Uh, the other thing about these story games is I do everything. I do all the side quests. I read all the lore. I read all the lore. <laughs> like, all the books. God, if I ever play Skyrim on stream, it's it's over for you guys, because I will end up reading all the stupid books in the game. I read it all. Everything we come up to, I read it. Um, Major, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Major. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Last thing. So why is today a shorter stream day? Oh, and I have to talk about Dark Dungeon. The last two things. You know about the memes, yeah. Today's a shorter stream day because a couple months ago, even the lusty Argonian made volume one through nine. A couple months ago, I was contacted by a big game company. And they were like, hey, do you want to play test a game for us? This is a very, this is going to be a huge game. And I need, it's very on the down low. You can't mention anything before we can even tell you the name of the game or what it's about. We need you and anyone in your household that is possible to see your computer sign an NDA. And I was like, so I did some research and it was legitimate and I, I agreed to it. No, it's not a claw game. So uh, a big company game, a big game that's coming out. And the play testing starts this week and they need me to play test two to three hours today, starting around one to 2 p.m. And that's all I can tell you, <laughs> that's it, I'm sorry. Eventually I'll be able to tell you. Uh, it'll be my first time touching the game. I'm not allowed to tell you anything about it, the genre. I'm not able to tell you the company. I'm not able to tell you anything other than that's the reason why I have to get off here a couple er hours early today. So I'm gonna play test this uh, this new game. Um, and it won't be, I won't be able to stream it. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. I've never had anything. Wink if it's Half-Life 3. <laughs> so I, I won't be able to tell you anything, but uh, that's the reason why I will uh, I will be off a little bit early. There's a two, no it's not. I'm, I'm excited about that, but I can't tell you. Um, it's kind of crazy though, Valve doesn't make games. I can't even tell you the company. I wish I could tell you the company. It's a new IP, I'll tell you that much. It's not a sequel or something. Great fault to you. Blink if it's XCOM 3. No, it's a new IP from a big company. Um, all right, last thing. If you didn't hear, Darkest Dungeon 2 has been announced, or release date has been announced. It's gonna be coming out in, um, or on October 26th. So I've been talking, usually I do a horror special for the last 13 days of October. And this is going to screw with that because I am absolutely playing Dark Dungeon 2 on release. So um, I've been talking to my wife about it and what we're going to do. Basically what we're leaning to right now, the plan for the stream, is I will be playing RimWorld uh, every stream aside from Wednesdays. Our modest fellowship and then Praise the sun. when Diablo 2 Remaster comes out, I'll probably try out Diablo 2 Remaster for a little bit, see how the remaster is. But then we're going to play RimWorld until October. Then October, we'll do the uh, yearly horror stuff at the beginning of October. And then I'm going to do a Darkest Dungeon Torchless run leading into Darkest Dungeon 2. So we are going to be playing RimWorld more, but then we'll we'll be switching over to Darkest Dungeon 2 as the primary game and hoping it's good. If it's not good, I'll be right back to Dark, or, uh, right back to RimWorld. But if not, Darkest Dungeon 2 is going to be a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. Uh, Gostron. Gostron, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Fathom, thank you for the five subs. Thank you, Fathom. Who'd you hit? Lucid Meatbag, Miss Steel Fox, Imix, Enix, Duel. Uh, thank you, Fathom, very much appreciate it. So I'm really curious. 
I've been really worried. So one of the reasons why I haven't been doing Story Day, I actually really enjoy it. Pineapple's like, am I dreaming? Story Day? Um, one of the reasons I haven't been doing it is I've been really worried that it's going to tank stream numbers, especially with this one because we're in the late game of it already. So we'll see. I'm really uh, curious how the numbers will be today. Uh, if it's not your thing, if you could if you could leave a lurk, it'll help me out also. But uh, no hard feelings, and Rimworld will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, Dodgers in chat. Think you're still in bed. Binge watching Rimworld videos on YouTube, loving it. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks for watching them. Plenty more coming. New one every day. New one every day. I'm doing all the DLCs also. Yep, yeah. doing all the things. Now it's been a couple of months since I played this. <laughs> It's crazy that so much time has passed. What? It's a hype train already. So much time has passed already. Oh, you better load. Better load. You starting a poll for the next story game yet? It's already gone through. Yeah, the next story game's already gone through. However, it's going to be on hold after this because of uh, Horror Month and Darkest Engine 2. Brum! Gotta work today. Thank you for the lurk, bro. Baby Carrots. Thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Baby Carrots. What game won? Um... Oh man, which one won? Um, <laughs> Pineapple, do you remember which game won? I announced it. Holy crap, that's been a couple months since the poll too. Dishonored won, thank you. Dishonored won and Batman got second. So the next story game should be Dishonored. Started playing Origins the other day. Origins is good, all right. Oh yeah, thank you, Aro. that's a good point. Uh, if you lurk, if you mute the tab, it actually uh, helps out more than if you uh, mute on the actual video. Yeah. Sarn's a good game. I've heard it's very good, but I'm blind to it, so. Yeah, I'll be playing Dishonored at some point. Um, as far as the horror game this year, I'll, hey, it loaded up pretty quickly. I'll, uh, I'll announce that soon, too. Man, I can't believe it's been two months since we played this. What? Man, oh, man. Nobody can say you don't get your money's worth out of this game. How much was this game for me? Seven dollars? <laughs> We're only like 150 hours in. Come on. All right, let me start the recording. <clears throat> um, so if you are going to... L yeah, so basically, Major, how it works, if you're going to lurk on a stream just to give that person a viewer number and you're not, like, lurking and listening or lurking having on a side screen, if you mute the... Uh, the video and then you have a different tab it'll basically pause the video and you no longer count as a viewer if you mute the tab instead the video will continue playing and you will still count as a viewer yeah I don't know that's how just how it works I don't know if it's browser or twitch's end uh I'll go over that too yeah you know what I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording <clears throat> now I'll go over all that stuff recording has begun so if you are watching this on YouTube eventually and all six of you that watch on YouTube this series I appreciate you now there's actually a couple hundred people that watch this which is which is pretty awesome um here's the thing those of you who watch this later on it's been a couple months since I played so we got all the way to the final quest the last quest the late game and then uh there was an expansion that released for our primary stream game and I've been playing it non-stop for a couple months so I'm gonna have to get back into the swing of things uh, for those of you in the chat, this is your first time watching this. I uh, apologize to you guys also. So, I am a human noble. Uh, I am a two-hand warrior, so a champion, I do believe. Looks like we leveled up last time. So, what I'm going to do today to get back in the swing of things is I'm going to go around and do some of the side quests and things. Um, we actually are... We have the final part of the very last quest opened up. So, the Well of Sorrows, the Altar of Mythal... Uh, it's all opened up, but I'm going to go do some of this other stuff. So, uh, and yes, the oven mitt uh, houseware is still on points. Summary of start to finish. Well, we're only 150 hours in, so sure, sit back. Let me tell you what's happened. Um, no, probably not. Probably not. You already missed the nipples. This is just our houseware. Don't worry. The nipples will be out on display. All right. So one of the things that it was holding us back, and one of the things, the few things I actually don't like about this game, this, very, this game is very divisive in the series. Uh, there are a lot of people that absolutely hate this game and think it ruined the series. There's a lot of people that love this and won't play the other two because the other two are too slow. Well, here's one part of this game that I don't like. The War Table. And the reason why is the War Table is a real-time mechanic. 
So some of these will take literally 30 hours. You have to send your people out to do the thing to open up a new quest, and then you have to come back in 30 real hours uh, to do it. Now, because we're so close to the end of the game, too many strange plants there. We don't need stomach cramps sweeping the army. Thanks to someone's advice, I did install a mod that makes it so the times are like 10%. 10%. So uh, we should be able to get through them more quickly. So anyway, let's go through the war table and see what we got going on. All right. The consequence. Oh, Blackwell's Lie. So I really liked this overall. Um, man, that was a real shocker to me. I'm really glad no one spoiled it, but Blackwall is not actually Blackwall. <gasps> he was... Um, Oh God, someone Rainier, what was his first name? Man, I can't believe it's been so many months. I'm starting to forget all the stuff I knew. Tom, Tom was his name. Tom, thank you. We have sent emissaries with formal apologies. We returned all that could be returned. We paid in kind for what could not. Liliana will store the Grey Warden treaties in the Skyhold archives in remembrance of mistakes made and lessons learned. Spoilers. Well, if you're tuning in 150 hours into the game, you got to assume you're going to get spoiled. Drinking from that well. <sighs> Never mind. Excerpt of Frederick of Sorol's report. We found a clutch of intact dragon eggs, which are currently incubating in Skyhold. For study purposes only, of course. I don't know if I... That's a good idea. How dangerous can baby dragons be? We found little else from... Eyewitness reports the adult dragons never ventured close to where the red delirium grows, even though they could easily have done so. I can only conclude that the creatures instinctively understand that red delirium poses a threat. What? Another prismatic great axe? Prismatic great, great axe is a really good weapon we used early game, but that's uh. Okay. My reading? I read everything in story games. That's one reason why it takes so long. Every lore piece we find, every codex, every thing in this game I have read. You know what? I'm probably ever going to play this game. Story games, I'm probably ever going to play the, them once. And so if I like the story game, I'm going to get everything out of it I can. So I, I read everything. Some developer out there is very happy. It's like, no one ever reads this. And then, of course, developers watch my stream. Like, oh, he's doing it. He's reading it. Quest Approach Resources. I uh, don't want that. All right. Let's go through and see which one of these we actually need to do. That one's completed, completed, completed. Unmask those across the sea. So even with this one reduced by to 10%, it's still three and a half hours. So this one was one of the ones that took like 30. So we're definitely gonna send someone to this one. I had our people remove the downward pointing triangular symbols from our outposts. They have not made a reappearance, which means little. It's clear someone has an interest in the Inquisition, someone organized with ties to those across the sea. We've eliminated the Kunari as the most obvious suspect. Nonetheless, knowing who they're not, does not tell us who they are. What they're doing or why? They're clever, we know that. And they have resources, but so do we. And they should learn that they are not a toy with the Inquisition. We're gonna send Liliana to this one. She's not a spy. Prime base investigations have any hope of succeeding. We'll have to strike hard and fast before they even know we're looking. Coordinated efforts, hitting all the leaves at once. Inquisitor. Liliana. I like Liliana. It's kind of sad that she can't be in our party in this game, but... Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we have the end of the Truth or Dare game. We can only send Josephine or Liliana. Liliana's already gone for three. This one's a five hour one. Is this mod not working? <sighs> Ambassador Montelliet, we have never met, but I believe you have, through discreet means, saved me from a most disagreeable connection. As I dislike being indebted to anyone, I shall endeavor to repay you with a, with a news item of some interest. Were you aware that the Grand Duchess of Leeds recently paid a visit to Lake Celestine? No, I was not. Indeed, she stayed an entire fortnight as a guest of Duke Alvin Blanchard of Val Montaigne. In light of her other connections, I should have scroll waited to scroll. Uh, a lot of her other connections and the curious amount of coin which spread across the region. The aftermath, you may wish to pay him a call. All right, so we can send Josephine. All right, we'll do that. Let us begin. It's a long one, man. Liana's best girl, as much as you didn't like DA2 and DAI. Liana has been a highlight for you. Yeah, I really do like her. The characters are good. Some of the characters are a little, um, let's just say copy and paste, you know? 
Like, they, they really fit the archetype, and it, you don't get anything too su surprising. Well, Yana has a pretty su su uh, surprising character. That's why I like Blackwall a lot, I think, too. Uh, all right. So, Alliance getting things moving along. So, we only have Cullen that we can send right now. So, let's see if this is one that we... Man, these are all so long. Many of the nobility of the Orlesian capital have settled their secondary... You know what? Hang on. There's one that I know specifically that I'm remembering from last time that I wanted to do. Where is it? Bella Shaperit. King Bellin has graciously agreed to grant Professor Kenrick access to the Orzammar Shaperit. So Orzammar is basically the last bastion of the dwarves for anyone that doesn't know or doesn't remember uh, underground. The dwarves used to have an empire that spanned almost the entire world, or it says that. Uh, I'm really curious. So, Dragon Age 4 is supposed to take place into Venter. And we get very little information if the old, if the Deep Roads actually span to Deventer. Uh, there's a lot of Dragon Age novels and stuff where I, I need to read them sometimes. So, I'd really like to know uh, more. Because I really like the lore of the game. But we know very little, as far as the games go, about Deventer. So, I'm really um, excited that Dragon Age 4 is going to take place in Deventer. And I'm wondering how the old roads connect, or if they even do. Uh, copy records on Orina have been sent ahead as an agreement. King Bellin hopes our alliance will continue to benefit all involved. Josephine, a note from Kenrick follows. The first paragraph consists of a crossed out series of thank yous, each more effusive than the last. Uh, I cannot express how thrilled I am to visit the Shape Rit. The documents they sent are incredible. It seems Orina was born to a warrior caste family. The theory that she was a runaway noble was romantic. I rather fancy the notion myself. But knowing the truth makes her seem more a person than a legend. Much preferable, in my opinion. Rinna met a Meriden while fighting demons in the Deep Road, as history states. Since dwarves do not possess magic, Meriden had come to learn ways in which non-mages could fight demons more effectively. Orina was gifted in the field and had developed several unique methods. Apparently, Orina did not get along with Ameriden's friend Heron at the time. It was quite the shock when she announced her departure from the Taig, especially since it put a damper on betrothal. Betrothal. Uh, talks between Orina's family and another well-to-do house. The documents also include some description on Orina's combat methods that may interest your commander. I will see that these remain in Skyhold's possession. I actually liked the dwarf storyline in Origin quite a bit, too. I mean, I know there was multiple, but, uh, man, the doors had a lot of interesting stuff going on down there. <laughs> what do I plan on stream room world? I told you this would happen. Tomorrow. It's going to Ryu. Tomorrow. Um, the channel was never supposed to be only room world channel, so... Due to 1.3 and uh, ideology release, I was doing only RimWorld, but now RimWorld will be four days a week instead of uh, five days a week. All right, what's next? Um, that one's completed. So this one is a DLC one, such the Deep Roads. That one's one we can open immediately, so maybe we'll go do that today. Quit RimWorld forever. Let's see, that one's completed. Completed. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll go send Cullen over here. Do, do, do. Remember why I was through on Tuesday? Nope. It's a Wednesday. Yeah. It's going pinstripe. Were you red? Welcome in. Best part of DA1 for you. Really like the exploration there. Yeah. Yeah. They were actually. So that's one of the. Um, I was saying how some of the. Uh. Characters and factions are very copy and paste in the world, like you would assume. But uh, the dwarves are not one of those, yeah. Not one of those at all. When Corypheus rushed from the temple for Mithal, he left his general for dead. My soldiers and I captured Samson with ease. Given that he was still unconscious from your fight, well, it will take the army some time to return from the wilds. We can expedite Samson's return in order to put him on trial. If you've no objections, I would be... Present for his judgment. Man, I can't remember what Samson, which thing he was part of. Doctor for next story game. I did a poll and, um, um, there was, I, I don't know. So if we go by the poll, even though it's been a couple months, uh, Dishonored one, and then after Dishonored was the Batman series. All right. Yeah, Batman was winning, but Dishonored ended up coming ahead at the, at the end. I was going, Nuka, welcome in. 
All right. So let's see. Uh, I don't want to do the last quest. Let's see here. Cassandra has reason to believe that Corypheus is behind the disappearance of this user truth, but she requires help to prove it. Use the world map to travel to Kerr Oswin. Oswin. I don't remember where that is. This is going to take some uh, some getting used to. Getting used to. I don't even remember all the uh, all the controls or anything. It's been a cold ones. It was a lot of fun. You buy a game. Yeah, that's another one that I would like to. I, there's a lot of story games I'd really like to play. I wish I could do what I used to do. What I used to do was I would play the main game for most of the day, and then I would take like a small break, and then I'd play another game for like three hours. And uh, I don't, I'm not able to do that at the moment. But uh, all right, so there we go. Here's the Cassandra quest. Let's go. All right. Oh, Cassandra has to come with us. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll take Blackwall and Solus. It's been a while since we had a quest where you had to have a certain character. Surprise level one Aria. Yeah, I could still do like split stream like that, Rimworld until like one another game for the last few hours, but I felt like um it wasn't it's not good for stream growth. That that was back when I was doing like nine hour streams, so I was able to do like six or seven hours of one game and a couple of another, but don't trust Cassandra, you should know this by now. It's the same Cassandra as on Rimworld? No, thankfully not. Yeah, I used to be able to stream a lot more hours. Yeah, it's crazy. I used to start my stream at uh, 9 p.m. That's right, 9 p.m. And I would generally stream all the way until um, time for my daughter to go to school. So I'd stream until like seven sometimes. A lot of times at least till five and sometimes all the way to like seven. And I used to stream six days a week, <laughs> so. All right, Cassandra, let's see what gear you got. I definitely know, she looks like she's pretty decked out in some cool looking stuff, but. And there's my nipples on display. For anyone that was missing that. She has 14 unused points, oh my lord. Yeah, the nips are out. It's mod wife, I, sm I smell you, I smell coffee. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start with her. Um. Well, <laughs> Let's just put some points. It, she, we're probably not going to use her again after this one, so we'll just put some points in Templar stuff and hope for the best. Summon a Blinding Pillar of Light. All right, what else do you have over here? You rally all of your nearby allies to fight with greater strength, especially when facing demons. Sounds good. Attack enemies while you're affected by Blessed Blade. Reduce the cooldown times of Spell Purge and Wrath of Heaven. Allies retain the effect for Blessed Blade for a short time after leaving the area of effect. It's completely busted. Been lurking in YouTube videos for a while now, and just slowly catch up. Anyways, joy to you eventually you'll be able to catch you live. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Dan, for letting me know. Nipples on display. That's right. Party's attacks have a chance to weaken their target. Also nice. Your faith is your protection against the elements and not for you alone. The entire party gains increased resistance to fire ice. Mm. Mm. Uh, again, we're probably not using her after this quest, and we already have Blackwall with us, so. Um. I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about how I'm specking her. So Chaco, welcome in. <laughs> Wrath of Heaven. All right. We'll do those. And then what else were we building her in the early game? Wow, she even has shield wall. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> She has some Vanguard stuff. Her and Blackwall are going to be at odds. Healed for each enemy you strike with Wrath of Heaven. Wrath of Heaven does even more damage to demons and leaves enemies stunned longer. Sure. Sure. Shoots! 36 months. That's a long time, Shoots, man. Uh, Shoots, welcome in. Thank you for the resub. Uh, all right, we'll turn off her getting flanked. Get some stamina regen. Uh, lunge slash is fine. Like, most of them are going to be attacking Blackwall, so that's why I'm 
a little iffy on using most of this in general, but oh well. And we still haven't used her her respec. We haven't respect anyone. Put livid on her too. Hmm. Here we go. Cool things. So Nyla, welcome in. Hysteric, good to see you. Box, welcome in. Do, 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 do. Play room world later? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. She's not gonna be critical striking remotes. All right, one more. We'll throw something else into Wrath here. Uh, Faith of Will, you dispel all hostile magic from the area around you. That's pretty awesome, actually. self purge now deals massive area damage when dispelling barriers and other beneficial effects on enemies. All of your Exemplar abilities now affect magic using enemies as well as demons. Done. All right, let's get a quest done. Stove line, the reset also. Tier three, holy crap. 32 months, sounds good, Stove line. Look at this, it's like old times. It's like old times. We're doing story day and snow blinds here. You're wondering if I was still on Dragon Age? Yeah, we just took a couple months break. Yeah. Couple months break. All right, we got one point to play. Just been on our uh, primary character. Um, I think there were some passives that we were going after last time, if I remember right. It's actually, melee is going to bleed for it, taking a portion of the damage they inflict. That might be okay, but we don't get attacked that often on him. Um, probably not gonna be using that. Could upgrade the chain. Grappling chain drags a point to you. Stun them with a hard kick. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. We mainly use that for the uh, despair demons anyway. So great skill. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Like I said, with Cassandra's, I was just kind of whatever since. Uh, uh, haven't played in so long. I'm not gonna use her really. It's got Eureka. Welcome in. Oh, whoops! I didn't realize that was the way out. All right. Secrets here. Three sub club stream. Yeah, my stream is it used to all be over the night or overnight, so I used to not start until nine. So that was a little bit earlier, nine p.m. Care Oswin, odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. So quick to judge, Cassandra. Maybe this is the room world, Cassandra. It's going, Jerry. Welcome in. What time is stream ending today? Um, I think I need to end it around or by two, one or two, depending. So I gotta do that um, play test of that game. Business story day. Imagine one month hiatus. First stream coming back. Short one because he has to play some other game in secret. Yeah, I know. I know. It was best for the stream though for me to just hit RimWorld really hard for the last like two months. You know. Uh, hello. Excuse me. I'm trying to remember the controls. Stop running away. Level 11. Oh, this is a low level zone compared to what we're at. <laughs> it's going high. Tala, welcome in. It's good. It's good that this is a lower level zone so I can try to remember how to do everything. I don't have to use any tactics or anything. Promise. We just charge in and kill things. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange it's beliefs? The they believe they are Seekers, the only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? 
the only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes, the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. I haven't seen any line of blood magic in this one, Aram. Uh, for us, anyway. No judgment, you wouldn't be here without it, yeah. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. Yeah, well, we're over-leveling this, so... Uh, there is the tactical mode like this, which I'll have to use against bosses and dragons and stuff like that. So there is still the tactical mode, but for this, like... Yeah, it really doesn't matter. We are so out-leveled. This is an old quest, which is a good thing for me to come back to, probably. These things are level 11. We're like level 22. Yeah, I quit RimWorld forever. Yep. Let's go in here, Vix. Welcome in. <laughs> that always happens. Man, I remember for a long time, I played only Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon Challenge, one after another. I probably didn't stream anything else but Darkest Dungeon for like nine months. And then I was like, all right, it's time to bring Story Day back. Only on Monday nights. Monday nights for about five hours, I'm going to play something else. The very, and I announced it ahead of time, and the very first stream I did, there were so many people who came in and was like, why are you done with Darkest Dungeon? And they were serious too. They're like, are you not playing Darkest Dungeon again? When when can we expect Darkest Dungeon? Are you not going to play it until Darkest Dungeon 2? And I was like, yep, yeah, I'm done with it. I hate it. Did they torture him to death? Oh. The promises will pay for this. There's a command, yep. Yeah. And it's in the title. Pretty area. Steam just advertised you Dragon Age Inquisition seventy five percent off until twentieth. It's good, yeah. I like I like it overall. So the main problem with it, there's two main problems. One is that it's not like the predecessors. So if you are really married to how the predecessors were, uh, you might not like this just because of the differences. The second thing is it is incredibly massive and very long. I know a lot of people get tired of playing it and eventually just give up on it. One of the first zones, the Hinterlands, is longer than a lot of games. It's just a it's just a sub zone. It's longer than a lot of entire RPGs. Hey, that muscle memory's coming back real, real quick there. <laughs> Never stream games again. Only hot tubs. The grappling hook is so good, yeah. As the it is very long, yeah. Have proven resistant to the effects of red lyrium. The elder one has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim your destiny and know that the elder one expects Man, your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson. Commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Well, I mean, Corypheus kind of wants to... He doesn't care about the worlds. Game's the best. We, did we play? Yeah, we've never finished. Yeah, we, we only played it 150 hours, Raider Tube. Come on, we were just getting started. We, we basically got through the tutorial. Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their so, chance. Viper, welcome in but after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. It can be frustrating playing the hardest difficulty at first too because of the enemies being damaged spons sponges. That's true, but it, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty and uh, it doesn't take that long before you end up starting to overpower almost everything aside from dragons. The letters said Seekers were resistant. Join Jerem, welcome in. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. The first zone is the hardest on Nightmare. Yeah, the only place that we've really died a lot was actually the first mini boss. It wasn't even a mini boss. The first Pride Demon. Because you actually can't level up before it, really. You have to fight that first Pride Demon in Rift on Nightmare with just your whatever at that early part of the game you have. So that's where we died the most in the entire game on Nightmare so far. 
You sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family. I actually like Cassandra's character in this. I'm guessing we'll see some more of her uh, family line. God, there's so many of them. She's like one of... She's a princess, right? Of Navarra. But she's one of like 80 of them or something. There's so many. So many. So the demon boss be hard. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've died a couple of times, but that's not too bad in 150 hours and playing it blindly on the hardest difficulty. The place we died the most was actually the very first pride demon. Very first pride demon. And now sometimes we have rifts of like three pride demons. It's like, all right, no problem. You like difficulties where it gives, yeah, where it gives new move sets. Yeah, instead of just being sponges. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of games that do that, but that's what I prefer too, where difficulty actually increases uh, or changes how the AI acts and maybe gives them new move sets instead of just literally, all right, the next difficulty is 10% higher all stats. All right, the next one, the highest difficulty in this game, everything just one shots you, so you just can't get hit. It's like, all right, well, it's, it's like artificial difficulty, right? Yeah, there's not a lot of games that do that well. Um, God, there's one that makes it so that the higher difficulty, the more, like, aggro en enemies are, like, the more aggressive. What's that? Not sure. Out of the way. All right. Do we look over here? I was looking at chat. Nothing else? All right. <clears throat> Civilization, how do we... Some more bows. Oh, yeah, that's a big problem in 4X and RTS games. I used to talk about it all the time with things like StarCraft and whatnot, and Civilization. Or instead of making the AI smarter, they just give them more stuff. They let them cheat. Civ is a really big uh, defender of that because... Like, on... What is it? Deity on the hardest difficulties... They literally just, like, give them military in the beginning and give them multiple settlers so they get multiple cities right in the beginning. It's like... Well, I said RTS and 4X games. StarCraft is an RTS, and Civilization is 4X. I was mentioning two genres that are uh, perpetrators of that. Enemies, same HP, more damage, more blood from the blood gun. Yeah, more enemies is a good way to do it, too. Free units, free tech, stat boost, if deity AI is fun, yeah. It's like that in all kinds of 4X games, too, like Stellaris. Uh, it's like that in... You know what I like, actually, is the, um... Um... Things like Crusader Kings and Europa and things like that. They are not fair or even, but the difficulty comes from who you start as. And, and that, in that way, it makes a lot more sense. So the, the computer doesn't necessarily get, like, cheats, but they're literally just in a better location and better stuff historically. And so, therefore, it pans out that way. So I kind of like that one. It, it, they're ch cheating, but it's, it feels more real, right? All right. The Order of Fiery Promise. Consider the time in which the original Inquisition existed. The first blight had devastated the world, tearing down the mighty Tevinter Imperium and leaving nothing in its place. Just as there were several cults of Andraste vying to become the true inheritor of the Prophet's faith, there was more than one group claiming the... Rep represent... <clears throat> excuse me. To represent the one true path to deliver... The world from chaos, the Order of Fiery Promise, was one of these. A band of men and women who decreed that not only was the end of the world nigh, it was necessary. 
Thetis must be cleansed with fire and reborn as a paradise. You know, these guys don't have uh, a bad point. This they solemnly promised. They devoted themselves utterly to seeing this come about. Whether they ever drew close to their goal is unknown. The Inquisition eventually crushed these promisers during a battle recorded only as the cleansing of Chernu. The cult reappeared in the early Divine Age, claiming to take up the Inquisition's mantle after it had transformed into the Seekers of Truth, leading the Chantry hunts that did not see the promisers eliminating, eliminated again until the Exalted Age. That's kind of interesting. So after the first Inquisition fell, the cult that the Inquisition was against was like, no, now we're the Inquisition. <laughs> no, I think that's three cultists in a in a trench coat. Was it Cherno? Not Chernu. Two sensor AI isn't that great, which makes uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, it's it's not really that possible to have an AI that can be as good as players, so they have to have them cheat. Uh, right now it isn't anyway, but there's been this project in StarCraft, StarCraft 2, uh, with Google's DeepMind or whatever, where they're trying to get an AI, uh, to be able to play RTS games as good as, like, pros can. I think they're doing that in League of Legends as well. It's kind of interesting. E-A-U in French is the O sound. Thank you. Yeah, it's getting there. Not quite there yet, though. And definitely not something that can just be thrown in any game right now. This is how Skynet starts. You teach them how to play StarCraft Rude War perfectly, and they start controlling real armies like that. They can only play Protoss because Protoss is the easiest race. That's right. Daniel! Daniel. No, I haven't seen that, Daniel. Can you hear me? Cassandra. It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No. They put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. Look at him, That's Cassandra. Impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. Ugh. It's doable for chess. It should be doable for, for XRTS. For RTS, it seems a lot harder because there's no... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's so many... Like chess, there's, there is a correct move almost always, right? There is a correct move. Whereas in like an RTS thing, it can be subjective. And it's also not uh, turn-based, but... Yeah, definitely more complex in that regard, I think. It's not looking good. Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here. One by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. You want to see a Darkest Dungeon stream? Well, if you go on Twitch, there's a search bar and you can type Darkest Dungeon. It'll take you that directory where someone else is playing it. But I'm, I will be playing Darkest Dungeon, but not, not until October. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius so in Stan, Val Royo. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon. Masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he came here. Cassandra. Now is not the time for sympathy. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war anymore. It's about I welcome in. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the maker's side, Daniel. Oh man. You will be welcome. She's gonna have to kill her own friends. Here. 
He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Sika Lucius. Let me like killing her own son because he got the zombie virus. Hey, why not just chain you up to a couch and let him play video games? Got promoted to sacrifice. Better AI in games would take so much work. It's not cost effective. Yeah, exactly. That code is difficult enough to write. Average works game. Trying to make humans impossible. Yeah, and that's like... So the thing with that uh, deep mind thing that they're doing, that's not like the developers are trying to make a better AI for their game. It's more about actually the... Um, training the AI and... Not the game AI, but literally the, the AI that they're working on and, uh, for other other things as well. It's more about the AI and developing AI than it is about the game, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm done with Darkest Dungeon and RimWorld forever. Yep, never playing them again. Never again. Uh, I will be doing a torchless run of Darkest Dungeon leading into Darkest Dungeon 2. Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out October 26th, and I'll be doing a uh, torchless playthrough leading into that. Whoops. We missed anything out here? Okay. Is it spawning something behind us? So I mean, we dress as poultry some of the time. Slippery slope. There's a lot of you. Let's see. Machine learning, AI into your games. The players would eventually never be able to win. That would be fun. Yeah. That'd be cool though if that was like an extra setting, you know, eventually. I have a bunch of great memories of this game. I like it so far, but I'm only 150 hours in, so I can't know 100% how good it is yet. Only 150 hours. Whoops. I have a Naga mouse and I just hit the side of my keyboard with the with the numbers on the side of it. Lord Sika Lucius. Rookie numbers. Cassandra. With a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. Yeah, I had already been I had already gone down there. I I got turned around during the cutscene, so. You must be very proud of your handiwork. DLCs as well, yep. Yeah, I've already done one of the DLC zones. I presume zones. you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago. As you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world. To make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry. The Circles of Magi. A war. That will see no end. And aiding Corypheus is supposed to help. Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. All right, let me read this entire book. War with the Give it to me. had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. <laughs> this is not the right thing, guy. And this was the right thing. Lord Seeker, what you've done. I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end. A new so world we order? Start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the makers. Are we going to see black clothing Hulk Hogan? 
I remember the 90s. Oh god, we're so overleveled for this zone. Just a little overleveled. <laughs> he was insane. Brother. Brother. The influence of Corypheus, perhaps? Was he trying to disable the Seekers? If so, the plan worked perfectly. He could not have destroyed Brother. all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. <laughs> Boss man, we wrecked that guy. Increase ability duration by 30% for warrior only. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, it's just for a uh, challenge, all right? Oh my god, a level a level six requirement one-handed. Yeah, we should have came here a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Uh, let's look around and see if there's anything up here. I doubt there's anything we care about, but... So, another thing about this playthrough is I've literally just been going wherever I wanted. Wherever I thought was interesting. And that's one way that I was uh, trying not to get myself burned out on a game that I knew was massive. And that we'd be playing for a long time. Is when I saw a zone and I thought the storyline there was interesting, I would just go there next. I didn't care if it was higher level than us or lower level or same or whatever. And it's come back to bite me occasionally. Two hours ago or 50 hours ago. Scale enemies to uh, your level. There is. There is, yeah. There is um, a couple of extra challenge modes that you can turn on called... Oh man, I forget what they're called. But anyway, uh, when you start out a game, there are several different ones that you can choose. And I, since I was playing for the first time blindly, I wasn't sure how hard the hardest difficulty would be. So I just set it to the hardest difficulty only. I didn't adjust any of those things. But there's some pretty interesting ones. There's one called like uh, Grizzly uh, mode, which makes it so all the bears in the game are, are bosses. So bears in the game, there are some giant bears that are pretty deadly already. But there's a mode that makes it so the bear, each bear is a, is a boss. It's harder than a boss. It's like bears are like dragons almost. I don't, I'm not sure if you can ch change those and turn them on in the mid game, yeah? I wouldn't right now either way since it's so far in, but... Are they called rights? I think they're called rights or something like that. I have a war table thing done too. The one that we sent Cullen on is done. It was only a f like 15 minute one or something. What's your opinion on the DA lore? I think it's hard to follow. Too much stuff with almost no impacts. Uh, you know, I I understand that, but I'm kind of glad there's so much stuff and a lot of the stuff being inconsequential. It's kind of like real life, right? So it makes, to me, it makes the world feel like it's an actual existing organic world with, with an actual past. So it's, it's not like a totally linear past. So you have all these different ages and how they started and what happened in them and different continents and in countries or whatever lands that are interacting with one another. And you can read all about that stuff in this kind of, like you said, inconsequential lore bits. But even though it might be inconsequential to your character, it, it's kind of like real life in that way. Like the history and um, there's history of every single place in the real world, right? And, and it can be tracked back in every way, but it's inconsequential to you in most aspects, especially uh, even, like, even if you're interested in those things. So it kind of gives at least an artificial feel like that to me, which is a good thing. But uh, I can see people being like, oh my God, I don't care about the divine age versus the silver age and which, uh, you know, which age this person was born in and, and which, why Justinia, divine Justinia changed her name and, and which Justinia number she is. Like, yeah, that stuff doesn't really matter. Like you don't have to memorize it. But for me, it being there at least enriches it to feel more, not necessarily real, but engrossing. I don't know. For me. Back in chat in an hour. You're listening to your phone, though. How's it going, entertainment? Oh, good. Touch through email. My email has been screwing up. So I have my own uh, email domain, and occasionally it will screw up, and I just won't get things for a while, and then I'll get like 150 emails in a day. So I don't know what's going on. I've contacted them before. Uh, best way otherwise would be to contact me through Discord. Explanation Discord will get you the link, entertainment, um, or through Twitter. Those ones I see every day. But yeah, my email screws up a lot. I gotta figure out why 
and get it fixed because I'm afraid I've missed a lot of stuff. Anyway, exclamation Discord to get you a link for my Discord, or you can check me out on Twitter at Adam versus Tweet. Uh, so here's the problem. The Samson guy, I don't remember him. So I'm going to have to judge his life, and I don't remember his story because it's been so long since so we did this. It's not good. He's in the holding pins. Not said much. We'll bring out the villain for judgment. Hopefully I remember. Hopefully I remember. Let's go on Bard. Alright, this means we can send Cullen back out. Um, hang on. Do we need to go talk to Cassandra? Or was that a war table order? Let's, let's take a look. Let's go on Bard. You can turn them on and off mid-game. Let's go. I think they're, what are they, are they called rights or something? There, there's, they're getting to. About Randy mode where Randy controls the AI. <laughs> so there's the judgment one. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the other is going to be war table. All right, let's go judge this guy. Well, no, I'm going to send Cullen off first. Not feeling too well. Sorry to hear, Bard. We feel well soon, though. All right, do we have any more Ferelden stuff to send out? Let's take a look. That one's completed. 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 Herbs we don't care about. Completed. Resources we don't care about. That's the DLC, so we'll probably start on that later today. Completed. Gather coin we don't care about. Completed that. The Frostback DLC. Uh, we did that one. Resources don't care. Resources don't care. All right. So the Ferelden stuff is all caught up right now. Quote 747. Come on, guy. Go down. Oh, Super Mario Maker. Neely filed request form copied in triplicates and delivered to the appropriate parties. Request tissue sample from carnivores found in Central Orlais along the outskirts of the Western Approach. Soil samples from areas surrounding closed fade rifts. Access to field reports containing references to local fauna. A copy of Gregor Worthing's Hala in the Heather. Wolves in the Woods. A naturalist observation. Apologies, but I lost my copy when the circle re rebelled. The commander has expressed satisfaction with the practical application of my previous findings. To continue my research, I would conduct an in-depth exploration of the Inquisitor's environmental impact, specifically the sealing of fade rifts on local species. <laughs> Context for it's Smash Brothers for furries. What was that that we were playing? Yeah, I don't remember. It was some uh, fighting game that I played and all the characters are animals. All right, we'll send Kellen on that one. To work. Let's go judge this guy. I don't remember him. <laughs> Hopefully whatever he uh, did comes up during the interrogation. Divin, welcome back. Tier three, three months. Oh, uh, thank you, Divin. Very much appreciated. It's not a lot of tier three subs, man. I very much appreciate it. Much love to Divin. Last one, though. You're going fully on to Patreon. That's awesome. Yeah. However, I mean, I always appreciate any sport, even just hanging out, watching, lurking, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly new to the Patreon side of things. Hopefully, I can make it more worthwhile for people. Right now, it's just early access to videos, pretty much. But um, yeah, thank you, Divin. I appreciate it, man. For anyone that, I'm not going to talk to her right now. For anyone that does know, I did start up Patreon uh, because people kept asking me. People have been asking me for like years. And I finally did it. So if you're interested in the Patreon, you can see all of the YouTube videos sometimes months early. On there. I'll be a, a truly impartial judge, yeah. Let's see if there's anything. Uh... <laughs> what is this quest? What? Bianca was waiting in the deep rows. Traveled around to the center of the Lyrium mining operation and shut it down. Open the locked door. Enter Valimar. Alright. I mean, I actually still have a lot of side quests to do. Let's not look at that. Let's just judge this person. <laughs> it will definitely be an impartial judge. Give me, Inquisitor. For personal interest, I have relieved Josephine, as you might expect. Knights Templar Samson, general to Corythius, traitor to the... Oh, uh, okay. The blood on his hands cannot be made. I remember this guy. His head is too valuable to take. 
Kirkwall, or Lay, many would see him suffer. I can't say I'm not one of them. Judging him will affect as many as his crimes. I won't take it lightly. All right, I remember this guy. The Red Lyrium will steal your vengeance. You know what it does. Corypheus only delayed my corruption. Are you still loyal to that thing? He poisoned the Order, used them to kill thousands. Templars have always been used. How many were left to rot like I was after the Chantry burned away their minds? Piss on it. I followed him so Templars could at least die at their best. Same lie as the Chantry. The Prophet just isn't as pretty. Coward, you pretend you had no choice, but you could have fought. I fought and lost long before Corypheus. Your commander thinks he knows what that feels like. Well, he's wrong. You were always weak, and your leadership proves it. Every one of those Templars would have suffered until nothing was left, and then be forced to kill and die. I gave them hope, just like the Chantry, just like you. It's not the same. I'm weak. You're a savior. Do what you want. I'm done talking. How do we judge him as an Inquisition? Do we put him on scales against the duck? Determine whether he's a witch? Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta see if he will uh he'll float. Well I'm not exiling him, that one's for sure. J Mac, thank you for the lurk, J Mac. Well I'll welcome him. We could shove him in a hole, but the red lyrium will eventually kill him. So let Kirkwall have him. That one's kind of interesting, right? Because he's a big part of what happened to Kirkwall. Dagna is um, the dwarf artificer. So yeah, she's the research dwarf. Uh, and the, the thing about her, we've actually given her access to study other things because dwarves inherently have no uh, aptitude for magic. And not only does that mean that they can't do magic, but it, and magic isn't really impactful on them, but they also seem basically immune to demons. Like they can't be uh, linked to a demon or a demon take over them as far we, as we know. We've never seen it and that's the, the lore that we're told. Oh yeah, no worries, Aram. Ask whatever you want, I don't mind. Uh, these, these story days are very chill streams too. Like they're slow paced, you know. Sometimes I'll just sit here and talk chat about lore stuff for a while. Is she immune to Red Lyrium? That we don't know. So I don't think... So Red Lyrium... I, I, we don't know. If she ingested it, would it actually impact her? I have no idea. I think it would... The Red Lyrium is more... I don't know. It's almost like... It's a viral material. I kind of want to give them to Dagna. Play a couple of times. Or just a couple of times too. Yeah, they're immune to the regular lyrium, yeah, which is why they're the ones that mine it for the uh, the Templar who Im uh, imbibe it, imbibe it, and uh, and use it for their power. But I don't know about red lyrium; that's some different stuff. Stray All Human Sue remake got accidentally got announced. When's it gonna come out? I'm gonna give him to Dag. I don't know, man. I think Kirkwall is the smart like Dagna is the smart one. Kirkwall is the more lore oriented one that we should do. Hmm. No release date, just accidental announcement. So it's coming, at least. We confirmation that it's coming. That's true. I might have Dagna do the research. Because her back engineering this this guy's power could help us against Corypheus, right? And giving them to Kirkwall is not gonna actually help the Inquisition, maybe diplomatically, but inclined to study as well. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. We don't choose, we just shove him in a hole. <laughs> that one seems like the worst to... Just put him in a hole, let him die. Alright, Dagna it is. Samson, you can still be of use to good people. What you know is less important than what you are. Dorian didn't like that. My Arcanist will study your resistance to Red Lyrium. Do as you will, Inquisitor. Your kind always does. Dying Light's been delayed as well. There was something else I saw that was de delayed. 
I'm fine with games being delayed. I know some people get really upset. You remember uh, Cyberpunk, obviously, is the big one recently. Developers of Cyberpunk were getting death threats, like, on their families and stuff because they were delaying the game. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? What is wrong with these people? But, uh... I would, I, I, it will eventually come, you know, the game will eventually come. I'd rather them take as long as they need, but that's why I like when things like Dark Dungeon 2 wasn't announced, like the release date wasn't announced till a month before. Yeah, if it's delayed, yeah, whatever. Just release it when it's ready. Whether it's a couple months or a couple years, I'll, I got plenty of things to play. Developer health should be priority too. It's, yeah, yeah. Stressful job. I can't imagine what it's like working at like one of the AAA companies. It's like, all right, we have this huge IP and it needs another game out in six months. There is no budget. I need you to do nothing but work on this game every waking moment. Maybe every sleeping moment. All right. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. So we're going to wait on the main story quest. Promise of Destruction. Meet Cassandra back at Skyhold after she had a chance to look through the Lord Seeker's book. All right. Uh, so Cassandra hangs out in the courtyard area, right? I believe so. Yeah, there she is. Let's see, Resurrection comes out, 23rd, you never need another game. <laughs> God, I put like tens of thousands of hours into base one already. I will be playing it though. It you know, was there ready is the right answer. Yeah. Pretty much for that. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. I'll be up here. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. Praise has 150 games in development. Sandy Witch released 2022. THQ Nordic, same studio we're making for all humans. That's crazy. 150 games in development, Jesus. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You don't seem concerned about that. I am terrified. Yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. Man, I'm still on the fence about who should become the Divine. I kept thinking that it's Cassandra, but Leliana, that's a good thing in the game, though. So for anyone that doesn't know, the next Divine uh, is up for grabs because the last one died. Um, apparently saving us is what we kind of learned. Uh, Divine Justinia, and the two that are kind of vying for, or could be it, is Liliana and Cassandra. And they would both make really good ones for different reasons. One was the right hand of the Divine, one was the left hand of the Divine. So one was kind of like the um, behind-the-scenes assassin-type person, Liliana. And then the other one was the more forefront, military-esque Cassandra. And they both have reasons that they would be good at it. So, kind of like Pope. Uh, in a lot of ways, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the Pope. It's the spiritual leader. You almost look at it as, as the successor of... Um, yeah, I, I guess Pope is a good good way to put it, sort of. Spiritual leader of the... of the Chantry. Yeah, that's a lot. They own... They own all those subsidiaries. So they own, like, 150 games. Makes sense, yeah. I'm gonna ask her. This isn't telling her to be, but... You will be the next divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. Cassandra, could you imagine the power? It is interesting that <laughs> the storyteller for Rimworld is also Cassandra, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We can uh, give each of them a push in that direction if we wanted. Follow up with Cassandra again? Well, she just left me up here. She could have taken me down to the courtyard. Rim with us. 
Bought Gearbox for 1.3 billion in February. That's so much money. No, I didn't see that. Oh, we got Inquisition theme music going. This is important. Since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the right of tranquility I is? I think that's Cassandra's first the joke. The resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Have you thought about streaming Borderlands? So the thing is, for story day, I generally play through games that I've never played through, so uh, blindly through them. And Borderlands, I've actually played through the first two with my wife off stream a long time ago. So I would maybe be interested in playing the third one sometime on stream, but I probably won't allocate that that time for games I haven't played through to replay things that I have, if that makes sense. So Romancing Stuff in this one? There is, yeah. Um, so a lot of times in these games, what I do when we're playing through a story game is I try to play myself as the character. So again, I, I'm like really doing as much as I can to get a lot out of the game. So for like Mass Effect, for instance, I played it like, what would I choose in this situation? If I was this character, what would I actually choose if I had this background and all that kind of stuff? And so I've been doing that in this as well in uh, Dragon Age. And so far, none of it's really felt right to come on to someone. So for instance, like Viviana or Vi Vivian, Vivia, Viviana, I remember her full name, but Viviana, Vivian, whatever her name was. The very first time we talked to her, one of the lines of the heart on it was like, hey, do you want to go back to my room or something? It's like so random. It's, it's, uh, the romance is done really oddly. Um, BG, is that Boulder's Gate? I've never played any Boulder's Gate, that's what I mean. Someone say romance? Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. I know, people are always surprised which games I haven't played. Rebellion ...was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. Oh god, L. Uh, in Mass Effect, I ended up um, romancing Tally. I really like Tally. We've always known how to reverse the right, and they just haven't been doing it. What? It's kind of not surprising, really. Like that, just being nice to the girl. That was my problem. There's some quotes like that uh, on the bot from when I was playing through. I couldn't be nice to anyone because it was always like I was trying to sleep with them. That, that, that was really bad in the Bass Effect series. Anytime that you were just trying to be nice, like literally just nice, just friendly, not even just nice. Immediately, it was like the romance option. So I would do that with, who was it? Like Miranda in, in Mass Effect 3. I would say something like, you know, oh man, Miranda, that's really that's really tough about your dad and your sister and how this is going. She's like, no, I'm sorry, I can't sleep with you right now. You're with someone else. I'm like, what do you mean you can't sleep with me right now? I'm just saying that I'm sorry that your dad treated you the way you did and you turned out like this. No, no, I won't take my clothes off for you. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm just having a conversation. Leave me alone. Stop trying to get my pants, Miranda. That's how friend's own guy was born. <laughs> oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. We created the right of tranquility. To become a seeker, I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the order. 
I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. So, long story short, for anyone that doesn't know the Tranquil, Tranquil basically have their... All their magic and everything sucked out of them. Right? There's more to it than that. But they're basically like a whole of what they used, used to be. And uh, the Tranquils are treated pretty badly in general. Not just that, though. The In this game, you'll find these skull things up high on, like, peaks and stuff. Like these gems in, gems in the eyes. And you use them to find, uh, do these puzzles and find different things. And they are skulls of Tranquils. So Tranquils have a lot of uh, pretty bad stuff going on with them. So this is not very surprising, but it just kind of adds more on top of how screwed up the, this world is towards the Tranquils. You said there was more in the book. Yeah, yeah, no connection to At the, some the point, fade, yeah. Power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. I didn't realize it could be reversed that though. That's to interesting. Will we repeat history? I don't remember learning in previous Dragon Ages that Rite of Tranquility could be reversed. I don't I think this is like brand new information. No, we're nothing like the Seekers. I wonder how much we kinda, remember yeah. what they used to be. It's kind of like magical lobotomization, sort of, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now... We harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. You talking about Sandal from Dragon Age Origin? I don't think he was a Tranquil, right? Can doors be Tranquil? I don't think doors have... They don't have the magical connection, but they also don't have the connection to the Fade, I'm pretty sure, which is why they can't... Is that part of why they can't do magic? Now, I might be misremembering. It's been a long time since Origin, but Sandal was his name. I remember that. Enchantment. Yeah. If you did rebuild the sea, enchantment. Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The maker's work in truth. I think it was like representative of like autism or something. That's what I always um how I always felt, yeah. Yeah, the doors don't have a connection, don't dream, yeah. No connection to the fade. Yeah, I didn't think doors could be tranquil, right? More akin to autism, yeah. It's really naive. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's naivety or... Um, I don't know. She kind of has this... It's interesting. She kind of... I like her character quite a bit. And uh, it's like she puts all the weight of all this stuff uh not just like the line of the seekers but also like navara and all this stuff it's like she puts it all on her shoulders like it's uh her that has to redo or fix all this stuff that's gone wrong for god hundreds or thousands of years she's taking more burden than she probably uh should All right, we'll do a romance option for you guys. Ready? Let's see how cheesy this looks. I usually don't do them in this. I think I've done like one this whole game. We'll see what we do. What it does here. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth? Oh, that one was building? actually not cheesy. You could make them worth it. I will think on your words. She approves. Thank she greatly approves. I could not have done this on my own. Let me put on my nipple shirt. <laughs> so makes you want to get into Inquisition. The game has so much lore and stuff. So, I don't know. I mean, play a game however you like. But for me, with these games, it's like... When I... So when I see other people... Like, when I've gone after Origin, I went to see, like, how some other people played through. A lot of people that I, I went to look at, they don't read anything. They don't read any of the lore bits. They don't read... Like, the stuff that they find or codex stuff. Sometimes they'll click through the conversation. It's like, 
I don't think you're playing, I don't think you like the RPG of it. You just want to go out and smash, and, and sometimes that's fun to go out and just beat stuff. But honestly, if you took out all the story of this game, if you took out all the story, all the lore, all that stuff, I probably wouldn't like it that much. It's not that um, interesting of a combat game. It's got a lot less strategy to it than like Origin. Now let's go to my room. Yeah, I really like Inquisition. It seems to get a lot of crap, and I think a lot of it is because of the actual gameplay itself being more MMO-like. Uh, I don't mind it so much. I do kind of prefer strategy in general, but I don't mind it. And uh, the story's good. I actually want to read some of the books. I just haven't made time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what happens. Skips cutscenes, doesn't read any lore. This game has a weak story. 4 out of 10. Oh, we still can give her a book. Well, like that, don't read quests, don't read books, don't read journals, skip cutscenes, complain the story makes no sense. All right, so I'm guilty of it in WoW. Like, I stopped playing WoW quite a long time ago. But one of the reasons I didn't play a lot of these games is because I was playing stuff like StarCraft and Diablo and WoW so much and leading a raiding guild and WoW, all that good stuff. Well, in WoW, I got really bad at and trained to do that. I would level so many characters that I would skip through everything. I would just follow the arrow to the next quest. I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. It's going to be a while to get back into things like this because of that. ...to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next... I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know... I want a world where people trust the country and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, right and wrong is subjective, like she's actually saying. So I'll say they're admirable, but they seem like good goals to me, but... Even if they're not bright, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. That's you, how you played WoW Rune RPGs. Yeah, I was like, it took me a long time to get off of that. What guides you? You make decisions that shake the world. Same for me, Rome, yeah. always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions. I have not. It's next on the list, actually. do what you have done. I'm still blind to dishonored. Prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. See what I mean? Like, this seems so cheesy. This is not true at all. This would literally be just choosing this just to flirt. Uh, dishonored, I am blind to it, but it's the next story game after this one, actually. We already had a vote. I obey my conscience. Yep, that's what I do. I'm guided by what my conscience tells me. Your conscience must speak more clearly than mine. I doubt it, but I do my best. When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But I am. Yeah, I've heard it's really good too, yeah. The Maker chose well. I'll catch up on some of the stuff that you guys are saying after this uh, conversation. I hope we can call each other friends. I hope so too. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, it would be nice to see more of what it's going to say. People person. Uh, Greasy or Banana, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Banana. I very much appreciate it. So, speaking of WoW story, here's the thing. I haven't played WoW in several expansions. Like, it's been probably four or five years since I played it. I used to play it a ton. But here's my thing with Blizzard storytelling. It feels to me, in pretty much every one of their games, 
the big IPs, when it goes, comes to story, Blizzard has this problem where they will not kill their darlings, right? There's this, there's this writing thing called kill your darlings. It's a really good thing if you are into creative stuff, you should, you should read it sometime. Um, but anyway, they will not, and they get on this thing where they just absolutely fall in love with one of their characters. And it's like, they're just this, I don't know, like always pat themselves on the back and, and trying to make this character the focus of everything. And they love that character so much that they will not let anything happen to it. And they won't go in a direction even if the even if it makes sense for the character to go in that direction, they forcefully make the character not go in that direction. So after writing books and things like that, it sounds weird, but a lot of times a character will want to go in a direction, right? You're writing and it's just like, that's natural for the character to go in. Sometimes it's not good for them. Sometimes they die, you know, all kinds of stuff, right? And Blizzard will not let that happen. And they do it in all of them. Uh, Kerrigan, good God. I love StarCraft. I really like StarCraft and Brood War. Holy crap, the end of StarCraft 2 is so god awful because they can just not let Kerrigan go. Yeah, Kerrigan's an awesome character, but they basically turn her into Zerg Jesus or something. I don't know. Oh, let's go over to WoW. Um, Thrall. Oh, let's have Green Jesus. Thrall, yeah. Thrall, Thrall, Thrall. Oh god, now we're in love with Sylvanas. Don't let anything happen to Sylvanas. Like, what? I don't know. I don't know what it is. And then, um, when the leadership changes or whatever, you can tell what the new leadership developer or whatever, what their favorite character is. It's... They do that with everything. They even did it in Diablo uh, 3. Like, I, you know what? Spoilers to Diablo 3, I'm sure everyone knows. It was actually most shocking to me out of anything Blizzard has ever done, that they actually let Deckard Kane die in Diablo 3. That actually, I was like, whoa, there's no, who, who, what? No, this isn't Blizzard. They would never do that. But Blizzard has a really big problem doing stuff like that. They always have. It's like, I hated what they did with Kerrigan. It's like, just let her die. She doesn't need to ascend. She f she's killed billions of people. Literally slaughtered billions of people. And it's like, no, that was the Zerg in her. Let's wipe the Zerg away. Let's have her ascend. It's like, no, no. Sometimes they just deserve to die. And that's what the story needed. But I don't know. There's lots of things like that, that they do. So they can leave the door open for cross game stuff as well, yeah. Crappy way they killed Kane. Newt Virion. That's true, yeah. Everything you have been doing is all according to the plan of the next bad guy. <laughs> Always, yeah. It's about money as well, yeah, of course, yeah. This asked how it is for TV movie IPs as well. Every bad guy is playing X plus Y G chess. <laughs> Really think Wesley 3 should work for today? Has a combat channel you like? Story I like? Super great. It's only like 30 hours too. What is she doing? Metro Wednesday. You think Kane will be back in Diablo 4 somehow? You're probably right, yeah. You done now? Resurrected, yeah. I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. Blizzard I'm has shown that child, death Derek. does not mean they're dead. Time without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. <laughs> this is such a funny quest line. This is your doing. <laughs> this is such, so for anyone that doesn't know, Cassandra's like this really, you know, hardened militaristic type person, right? You just saw, uh, but we caught her reading some like smutty romance book, some smutty romance book. And she was like, don't let anyone know. And we actually went to the author and was like, hey, can you write the next copy of this? Because Cassandra wants it. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain. Oh, God, do I? Chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. <laughs> well, She's getting upset. it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. She greatly approves. I... Thank you. This was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. 
I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ooh. <laughs> oh, completely worth it. So it's down, welcome in. The lusty or is a Marian maid, yeah. <laughs> Can't we be back as a demon in <laughs> Jalo for it? I wouldn't doubt it. Stay a while and burn. Oh, it's Kane. And I was telling some people the other day, I don't remember what it was. Uh, we played a a game once that was suggested to me that was an absolute complete ripoff of Diablo. And I don't mean like it was inspired by it. There was like an old guy that would give you lore in the game. Instead of saying, stay a while and listen, it was something like, listen and stay for a while. Like it was just so blatant. And I had people in the stream that were defending it. Like new people. They were probably the developers of the game. They were like... Um, no, 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 it's just inspired by Diablo. It's not, it's not copyright infringement or anything. And I was like, listen to this character. It is Decker Kane. Listen and stay for a while. Dragon Age is grindy. I haven't had to do any grinding at all in Dragon Age. I'm playing on the hard difficulty and I haven't had to grind anything. Got a lot of quests and things, a lot of lore, but I haven't, like, had to grind levels or money or gear or anything. Yeah, I like Torchlight. I heard Torchlight 3 sucked, but I like Torchlight and Torchlight 2, yeah. Uh, thank you, Badana. More Rimworld tomorrow. Privately. Let's go and pick a welcome in. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. Her horrible things about Torchlight like Three, yeah, me too. Is it in early? I know you can play it. I don't know if it's early access or what. But yeah, it's it's not rated very well, that's for sure. This ends any possibility of romance with Cassandra. No. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can stop. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? Heckard Bane, yeah. people. <laughs> is that what you want? No. No one tells the lead Inquisitor no. No. <laughs> oh, I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I guess we're Rowan's and Cassandra. I was not not my intent initially today. This begins romance with Cassandra. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> we can't go with Sarah because she's a lesbian. I don't want to hook up with a dwarf. <laughs> Sounds like so completely specious or racist. Uh, Vivian's too old for us. We can go with Iron Bull or yeah, or Dorian. <laughs> Read some Harry Potter by candlelight. Sell a game. How's it going, Biddy? <laughs> Plot points. Welcome in. You won't even give me a chance to try. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn. And God, imagine if she's the divine, though. Change how I feel. It changes everything. I'm not sure if it limits how many people you can uh, romance for run, yeah? <laughs> Can't handle it. The spacious, the xenophobic talk. I'm not done with you, Cassandra. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? Yeah, I felt like that's how it was in the first one, yeah. Is it so unbelievable that I want to? I suppose not. You just have so much else to occupy your energies. You let me worry about my energies. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. 
I like challenge well. It's very simple. I it's the 3D RimWorld mod, yeah. You enjoy can tell because Cassandra's here. Don't you? The embodiment of Cassandra. See, it doesn't even tell me what this will do. Like, what, what am I going to say? Just special. Never know what you've missed. So be it, Dorian. Oh, no. The cycle continues. <laughs> so going, Cat. Welcome in. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped. Is she in the BDSM? But it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. I have some more questions. As you wish. Major Ernest's final strand was going to come out today. Uh, oh, someone linked you that. Yeah, delay till October 7th. Looking forward to that today. Yeah, someone had linked me. I hadn't heard about it until just the other day, actually. Tell me about your brother. Anthony was older than I, a dragon hunter who showed what a It was Aram. I thought so. I was it. I sure if I was remembering correctly. Thank you, Aram. I wanted to hunt dragons as he did, even though our uncle forbade it. Anthony promised to train me in secret. We would hunt together one day, brother and sister, vanquishing the beasts of old. And then he so died. glue. I'm gonna ask how he died. I gotta know. She might get upset, but I gotta know. What happened? A group of apostates wanted dragon blood and wanted Anthony to get it for them. He refused, and they killed him for it. In front of me. I begged the Chantry to let me become a Templar. Instead, they sent me to the Seekers. It took many years to let go of my drive for vengeance. Guys, Cassandra has too much baggage. Let's back out. No, <laughs> that's so bad. Master of Stealth. Adam attempts Dishonored. Oh, I'm really good at stealthy games. We know that. Just look at my uh, Uncharted playthrough. Well, the funniest part of Uncharted, I think it was the third one. Uh, there was some people like getting out of a car or something. And so I have a I have a shotgun and Sully's like, all right, they're going away. We need to be really quiet. Just sneak in. We can make our way by. And I run in and just start shooting people with a shotgun while he's saying it. I didn't even realize he was going to tell me to be stealthy. <laughs> and, and Sully's like, that was not what I would call stealthy. It's like, uh, <laughs> sorry. Get us dragon blood. No, it's treason then. I think I understand how you felt. At times I could not breathe. <laughs> the the rage nice. nearly choked me. I sometimes wonder how different my life would be if Antony was still alive. Would I be a dragon hunter? Married to some noble fool, a mother of three? I cannot say. I take solace in believing the Maker has a plan. Could I be that noble fool? He is not always kind. Dead men tell no... That's what I, that was my defense, Doi. If they're dead, then it's technically stealth, right? Because there's no one alive that knows I'm there. I'll let you get back to work. All right. All right. What's next here? Search the stores of Valorio for some candles. Talk to a gardener about flowers. Talk to a vendor in Redcliffe about poetry books. Guys, I think this is leading up to some intimate time with Cassandra. Let's take a break on that, okay? <laughs> Sola says that finding an amulet of the Unbound will prevent venatory mages from binding coal. Since scouts to investigate possible amulet locations. Is that on the war table? I would really like to learn more about coal too. Um, so here's the thing that bothers me. It is a war room one, so we can't do it right now. Here's the thing that bothers me with this game. And it's, it's kind of, it's a good problem to have. This game is so massive that like, it feels like you want or need to play through it multiple times to get everything out of it, which is a good thing, right? But the problem is a playthrough is like 150 plus hours. So it's like, 
I will probably never play th through this game again. So after we're done with this, I will most likely just look up uh, things about it. But it's like, I've learned so many things about like Blackwall by having him in our party all the time that a lot of people that have played the game um, were just like, I didn't know that about Blackwall. And I played through this game several times, which like I said, it's kind of a good thing, but. Man, we've done everything there apparently. No, not Ideal Romance. Is this another Worsty one? We have some more stuff in the Frostbacks to do. Huh. And a lot of these are War Table things, which is very frustrating. Investigate the Storm Coast Fisher at the War Table. But we weren't able to. I, ch I looked at that one earlier. I'm going to go look at the war table and see if I missed some stuff. We obviously have people sent out right now, but there was not one for the Storm Coast earlier. Just came one inch right out from RPGs. There's just too much walking, discovering stuff. There's a lot of fast travel and horses and stuff, too. I haven't, I haven't really uh, been bothered by the walking. I can definitely understand people uh, being burned out, though. A really huge time commitment, especially to play through again. Like, there's so many things we've learned just by having them in our party, and there's... I mean, I guess I could just put people on a party and just head out and do, like, kill random stuff, but... There's the Storm Coast. There's no, uh... I'm not sure what's going on, because it says have your scouts check something at the storm coast but there's no there's no war table mission for the storm coast let's go there i guess go to war table to learn why investigate the storm coast fisher at the war table Oh, well, we can't do it either way because uh, we don't have anyone left to send. Uh, the University of Orlais has requested pyrophytes and everite samples for a geological survey of the Emerald Graves. Okay, that's an easy one. We can just go drop that off. Keep hitting the wrong button. It's been so long since I played Emerald Graves. This is just a requisition thing, right? Right, I'll be right back as it loads in. What happened to chat? Oh, pilot wash died, yeah. You can die too. Well, you can get a chance to die. Exclamation death blow. You'll have a chance to die. It times you out for 60 seconds if you die. Black wall, also known as Tom. Alright, I'll be right back while this loads. Uh, death blow. There we go. L died too. So if you type exclamation death blow, um, <laughs> it has the same percent chance to die as you would in Darkest Dungeon. So it's like a 33% chance to get timed out. You can use it once an hour. All right, let's go. We'll be right back. Sorry about that. Had to blow my nose. My nose kind of... I don't know. Allergies are kind of bugging me today. 
MLD, Major League Daddies. <laughs> but yeah, the game is a reaver. Lunar bonking you. Let's go ahead and doggy devil, welcome in. I thought this was just a requisition thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe I actually have to... Where is she? Huh. I guess it's not. My bad. University of Orlais. Yeah, I'm not sure where all, like, a lot of these we can't even do without. I think that's just a requisition thing. I actually don't think we really need to do it. A lot of these I don't think we can do. Yeah, these are just requisitions. All right, we don't have to do that one or that one. I don't know if I want to look for books right now. We've just been finding them at random. Punishing or encouraging you to stay. Bonk worthy stuff. Some call it A, some call it B. Okay, that's another survey, so we don't have to worry about that. Find a way to get to the island. A mysterious island in Frostback Basin may yield clues to the region's past. All right, so I think that's what we were doing, right? I think we were in Frostback Basin last time. Let's go back there. Uh, it's a DLC area. It's been a couple months, like I said, so it's kind of... My apologies for being lost, but... Yeah, this is where we were. Yeah, I remember this now. And we had that bugged spot. All right. Yeah, yeah. What was this one? Natural, but strange and familiar cold emanates from a locked door within the Frostback Basin. Don't know if we can get to that yet. We'll go check it out. All right. Tough love. That's right. I'm sure they'll say something bonk worthy again. So yeah, this is one of the DLC areas, so it should be more closely, uh, or more, more closer to our level. And then we also have um, uh, the Deep Roads, which is a DLC area. And then I think there's like a like a epilogue. That's a DLC area. I think Trespasser or something. All right, I don't know if we can access this door. But we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go check. Oh, this stupid place. I remember this. I remember this friggin' zone. Oh, man. Some of this is coming back to me. Last time, uh, we needed to go up a cliff here. And I kept going the wrong way, like, like, ten times in a row. And I was like, how do you get up that cliff? And then I just found the way there. You just literally walk up it. Yeah, this is... Alright, this is a current level zone. Where is this stupid thing? Solus over there chugging potions. Sorry, just one potion, but... So for everyone who doesn't know, uh, I have, so I'm building crit. And the reason why is as you saw that move, I'm only supposed to be able to use it like once, maybe twice. 
but I built my character so that every time we crit, it lowers my cooldowns and it gives us some stamina. So occasionally I'll get into these crit chains where I'm only supposed to be able to spin like once or twice. And I think we've gotten up at one point to like 11 or 12 uh, in a row. So sometimes it's just nuts. Whirlwind hits multiple times. It's like uh, it, it's a warrior move that hits the most often or the most hits for one cast. So that's why I chose it to stack crit. Always a good build to do. Yeah, I, I'm not sure like what are good builds or what people usually do, but it seemed seemed like a good one when I saw um, as soon as I saw the ability to our uh, walking fortress plus the ability to reset cooldown. It was like, all right, that seems OP. I'm going that. Iron Bull, I haven't really paid that much attention to him, actually. So when we had to have him on ours, I uh, I just gave him whatever kind of secondary gear I had laying around and just specced him into uh, whatever Reaver. This is an elite. Solus got destroyed. So much different than the previous zone where we were out leveling them. I gotta remember to use my defensive moves. Solus got wrecked. Oh, Blackwall? Blackwall is like immortal. Uh, we fought a dragon that was like four levels higher than us, and Blackwall didn't take any damage the whole fight. He just tanked it. Nonstop. Blackwall, the way we have him built, he just does not die. It's absolutely, absolutely nuts. In fact, uh, in that big dragon fight, uh, Solus and Sarah died. It was me and Blackwall for like the entire friggin' fight. Oh, more shards. That's what's going on. you like, yep, the guy is betraying us. Rezzy still didn't after 150 hours. It's actually a good guy. I like Solus, yeah. It's interesting. I had a conversation on uh, with someone on YouTube. Um, I'll, most people in the stream when we talk about like favorite characters and things like that, Solus never comes up. No one seems to really like Solus. I really like Solus. He's one of my favorites. And uh, someone in the comments is like, yeah, I've noticed that too, but he's my favorite person. It's like, I really like Solus, but everyone seems to just not. <laughs> Only oh, can maintain aggro? Yeah. I think those drop it, yeah. I like that you like Solus. Dark Souls character? No. Not that one. Not that Solus. Never used him. 
So the thing I like about him is that he's really, uh, he knows like all the history and of everything and like all the architecture and stuff. So the reason I like Solus and have him in the party is he makes lots of co uh, comments on things that you would otherwise never know about the zones and stuff. And so I like him for, uh, he's like a lore dump character. Like, Lola, Solus, could you come here and take a lore dump for me? Thank you. It's going, yo, Lois, welcome in, by the way. Yeah, Solus is the, uh, the elven mage. He's like literally a lore book, yeah. <laughs> needs to be a quote. <laughs> I don't need all fruit. Double ball mage. Vivian, what's her name? The embodiment of Sass. Vivian, yeah. Uh, I think Pineapple was saying that he really liked Vivian and Dorian. All the characters are, are good. Like, the thing is, even the ones that are kind of bland at first in this game, the more you get to know them, kind of like real life. Or are those jaws only good for flapping? Mind your tongue, Bogwalker. Stonebear Hold may not always shelter you. And you will need shelter when the cold winds come. Yet I feel only hot air. When the jaws of Hakon rule, you will wish you had been generous. If your weak lady has not already picked your foolish bones clean. Anyway, as I was saying, just like... A lot like real life, not everyone, I guess, but uh, the more you get to know the characters, the more you take them with you and talk to them and hear things about them, um, the more interesting and non or, uh, or multi-dimensional they become. And there's a fast travel beacon here. See, I didn't get any resets that time. You were the lowlander they call Inquisitor. I am Harvey Rolfson. Well fought. The fish will feed on fool's heart wine this night. I know not what brings you here. We have no quarrel, you and I. Uh, so has some really fun interaction with Sarah. Yeah, the one, my favorite one that I ran into, I think, is where she was asking him. She's like, um, so, Solus, you interact with spirits in the Fade all the time. Have you ever, you know, uh, have you ever gotten it on with a spirit? And then Solus was like, what? No. And he's like, wait, um, uh, no, 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 I haven't. Like, it's like. Hang on, go back. Solus had to double. He had to. He had to rethink whether he had uh, gotten with a spirit before. So like Dorian, Vivian, and Cassandra everywhere. I like. Yeah, I like all of them really. Man, Dorian had some really hard-hitting quest stuff. <laughs> I was like, wait, maybe. No. How long have you lived in the base? Stonebear Hole's been here a few generations. Blackwall and Sarah had a lot of funny interactions as well. I can remember. It was a good life until the jaws of Hacken arrived. They brought trouble with them. People are expecting a raid, but you don't agree? They seem bigger fools than that, for all they're boasting. That cannot say what they plan, but it bodes ill. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The lady's rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits want us to leave it be. Warn the spirits right back. We're in position. I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. If I give you the boat, <laughs> and you anger the spirits and die, or the lowlanders may come for blood. That is trouble for my hold, and not my... Look, I'm taking the boat one way or another, guy. Get 
Hey, Quinter, it's been a long time. How's it going, Quinter? Been a hot minute, yeah. The wagon time for one of the streams. Yeah, it's good to see you. Hopefully you've been all right. Yeah. I don't want any trouble, but I need a boat to Oh no, we already did that. I thought he was gonna say something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many wars raging your lowlands even now for foolish cause? Been doing all right. I bet you know Rush, but if you all right. sail off to die. Cool. You got stuff I can ransack and loot. You might not give me your boat, but I'll take all your other earthly possessions. All right, you got stuff in here I can steal. I mean, procure for the Inquisition. What, you don't even have any lore books for me to read? What a use useless fellow. Thank you for the host. The murder hobo option. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> so refuse to explain why. It may still be possible to discover the reason. Alright. I guess we're heading that way. What yet lingers? So wait. Is that the actual island? Uh, so where is this thane? There's that. We still haven't gone through these two. Locked doors. I wonder if Sarah can open those. All right, what's up here? Your grain for the winter? Looks like it's the Inquisition's grain now. I wanna read about the specifics of catching trout during the mating season. Thing is, I would read that, yeah. All lore is good lore. Everything is important. Uh, I think one of our biggest achievements in this game still, though, is when I was exploring random areas trying to figure out everything, there was a little cliff in the middle of nowhere that I got to, and there was a shield that was a giant wheel of cheese. And even though it was worse than black walls, I made him equip that cheese shield for, like, the next 30 hours of the playthrough. So you see, every little place, everything is important. You don't know what kind of treasures it may hold. Cheese, fish... Hey, look, it's one of those tranquil skulls. This is another annoying part of this game. It's not difficult, but the, like, blur it puts on this is really not good. So basically, you look through the skull, and you're trying to find these, uh, these shards. But I ended up just kind of doing this because it's so friggin' blurry. You know how, like, one of the first things you usually do in a game is turn off motion blur? Well, Dragon Age Inquisition was like... Oh, yeah? We're going to make you do this other part of the game where it's just motion blur set up to 500%, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, these might be all the shards we need to unlock that door, so we'll go hit these up first. It's motion blur as a feature. Hey, it's me. Nipples. I got a lot of resets there, that's for sure. I really do like about Dragon Age, though, in general, is we we're talking about how long the game is and how it feels like you wouldn't want to replay it, but you might want to try all the different classes. You can still do that because you can take control of any character. So, like, if I want to tank, you know, I can just take Blackwall and I can literally just play as Blackwall. If I want to play as a mage, I can just play as a mage, uh, rogue, whatever. Respecking isn't very difficult in the game either. Like, your first respec is basically free, it's like one gold. 
And after that, it's a little bit more, but it's, it's not a big deal. Do I need to go up and around, or...? Can't tell. It's me, Nipples. Man, for the longest time, all of our characters were wearing... So, these shirts are the Kunari, or the this armor. This Kunari uh, armor. And the Kunari don't really wear a lot of clothing. In fact, I think Iron Bull was talk talking to us about him going to combat naked and waking, waking up with his junk and the rest of him covered in dragon blood or something. Anyway, that was a weird conversation. We got drunk with Iron Bull. Do not recommend. Uh, they don't wear a lot of clothing. And so for a while there, all of our people were wearing Kunari clothing. Uh, aside from Sarah, who was wearing just mud. I don't know which kind of clothing, but she was just covered in mud. And then me, Solus, and Blackwall were all wearing these nipple shirts uh, that I'm still wearing. No fun on female characters. She's just covered in mud. <laughs> What? I could fit through there. I'm not too big for that hole. I hear the shard. I see the shard. Was that a bear? No. No, bears are much larger. That was some kind of critter that you can kill for fur or whatnot. Uh, we eventually want to go over here, but I'm going to go get these shards first. So, out of all the things that we kill in this game, I feel bad about killing the dragons. Honestly, like, one of the coolest parts of the game is killing dragons. The dragon fights are pretty awesome. I really enjoy them. But every time I feel bad. Uh, there was a zone where there was three dragons. One just right after the other. We killed all three of them. I was like, man, I come to these people... Or these people. These creatures' homes. They were they were all sleeping, too. Yeah, that was... all. The first one was sleeping. It's sleeping. I charge in, wake it up, and kill it. I'm like, oh. Sorry. I know, they did nothing. Alive for hundreds or thousands of years, and I butcher them. Just for a cool fight. Poor dragons. Speaking of dragons, you guys remember that Dragonheart movie? Sean Connery? I used to really like that when I was younger. I did not like the sequels. The first one was pretty good. I sang the circle of life to them. Don't worry. I'll kill you and you'll become grass and the zebra will eat the grass or something. The dragon's like, what the crap's a zebra? Species against dwarves. Being as dragons, no surprise. Super xenophobic. <laughs> Sacrifice thousands of pawns in rim worlds. Don't even blink an eye. And then kill one dragon. Aw. Dragon. These pixels are more meaningful to me. Man, that current run of RimWorld's been insane, you know? I was thinking, uh, so some other people are using that same seed. If you use the same seed, uh, let me know what happens to your playthrough. It seems almost cursed. Other people are kind of having the same problem with it that I had early game. And I also really like seeing people's bases, that, you know, on the same map, how different people approach. Is that up there? Building a base um, on the same map, and it's it's oftentimes very different, but then sometimes there's like very similar footprints. Like where they, where everyone decides to set up is usually pretty similar. Did you get out of the way, Solus? I I can make that. Ponds are human. No one likes that species. That's right. Is that a cabin in the woods over there? Ooh, an Asterium. It's been a while. Everything's been a while. Oh, this is the one that we've already done. Hmm. 
Interesting. The anima tree, yeah. So a lot of people are going to set up around the anima tree, but even those that are setting up there, it's interesting to see the difference in their in the base layouts. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. No one likes the human species. Hello? What is going on down there? What's going on? Feed? Welcome in. Feed. Yeah, that is the newest seed from uh, the jungle map. Um, it was really crazy for the first few years. It was funny, too, because people were coming in. They're like, wait, why do you only have two pawns on year four? And I'm like, it's not by design. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to stay on two pawns. The tale of Hringar, the ice troll. Came the warriors of Tevinter, armor shining, shields of gold. Stole the land of Avar, keeping stone-carved walls to claim their holds. Hringar, ice troll, wreaks his raging lowland warriors weep and shake. Gla wreaks, actually. Glacier strength did Hringar conjure stone to venture walls to break. Lowlands flee their lands releasing. Great poetry. Uh, one more shard. Nice. I don't want to be in combat. There are parrots here in the frost backs. Interesting. Oh no, I missed a book. Where was that? I saw a book near a shard. I think it was when we were going up the mountain, so we'll hit that again. I don't know why it just now dawned on me. I was like, wait a second. I saw a book that I was going to go back to. Parents, do the... Well, you got that right. You see that one? Perched on literally nothing. Is going Aspen? Welcome in. Aspen, is this your first story day? Oh my god, I missed a book. We got to replay this game. Runs over. Oh, that poison. Holy Christ. Good Lord. If I see those spiders again, I need to hit Walking Fortress for I charge in. That was a lot of poison damage. Jeez. Running around the frost station. Oh, right. You were here for this. I am, yes. Why do I think this is your first one, Aston? I don't know. It wasn't that long since I played. You've been here for months. Ignore me. I don't know what's going on. Uh, J-Mac. They were using the Twitch Prime. Speaking about months. Uh, thank you for the three months. Glad you're still here, J-Mac. We're getting up there. What? I can I can defeat dragons, but I can't climb up this basically ladder. Whatever, I'll find another way. In. It's been a while. It is your first one. Yeah, it has been a long time. A few months, a few months. I think I'm actually gonna have to. I'm gonna have to jump across. Oh, Lord. Still after your morning disappointment? That's good news. Good news. Can I make that jump? We're going to have to go a different way. Let's go try it again. Can the horse jump? Can't even remember. So what are you doing after your body purist run, by the way, Aspen? Soon it'll be years, I hope so. 
God, I thought we missed that one. Run while you still can. Mysteries of the Frostback Basin. The mystery of the aqueducts. After much reading, I know the Deventer walls by the lakes were called aqueducts, which were roads that carried water to their forts of stone. These aqueducts drained water from the lower region, but that is not the whole reason the Deventers changed the land. Parts of the basin have been altered in the past, which one can see if they are the right mind for it. There is only one explanation. Paths of mystic resonance, or mystic lines, or ley lines run through the land. The mages in the whole deny ley lines exist, but they are protecting secrets of fraternity, or else are ignorant of secret lowlander rights. As proof, Professor Waylon Van Kin maps lines of power across the basin of his book Ode to the Ordo Templis Royalis. He does not say so in the book to a casual reader, but certain secret signs left by the professor to befuddle his enemies point to it very clearly. If one reads the text eight times. <laughs> Fluid ideology on Wealth Independent. Never done Wealth Independent. So drop down to Adventure and Phoebe. Feels pretty hard. Yeah, Wealth Independent's pretty rough. It depends on what you put the year on. Because if you put Wealth Independent 100% for one year, that's harder than 500%. Because in one year, it gets to the point that you're at max raid. So it's, it's a really crazy mode that you can balance more years. Not seven, not nine, only eight. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if you read it one more time? You forget. Let's go. I used to know. Let's run online. You were in the default 12, yeah. That's not too bad. Backwards and take the fourth letter of every fourth paragraph. The secret is there. Alright, let's see if we got enough shards to open that now. There is a fast way down. I can't remember where it is. I think, yeah, there it is. The reading of the text shall be eight. Ooh, that was a big hit. Can't slap. Too bad, I think you know the games are still great. Yeah, that's what most people say, yeah. I think, um, I, lore and story-wise, third one's really good. I think a lot of people dislike it because of the, probably lack of, um, like, you can do the strategic down view, but you don't have to do it very often. Like, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, and the only time I ever really have to do this is against big bosses or dragons. So it's definitely, um, combat is way less strategic in this game, so I think that's a, a big part of it. And it's just massive, but... As far as the story and lore and stuff, I think it's all uh, holds up to the series. It's going to win runner, welcome in. It's a little stop moving forward, so I usually stay with the taxes video. There's a lore Inquisition is your favorite. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Um, I'm okay with the combat as is. I do kind of miss the strategic combat sometimes, but man, if you had to do strategic combat in every fight in this one, that would... The game is already so long, like, that'd be crazy. the wrong one targeted. What? Blackwell actually died. Whoa. Whoa. That does not happen often. Get 
Wow. We're actually gonna have to run back. We have not wiped in so long, but I think we're about to. The combination of the spiders and the elites there. Yeah, we're dead. That's our first wipe in like so long. Maybe like, I don't even know, like 70 or 80 hours. Apparently leaving the spiders up and pulling the elite group, not a good idea. It's funny that happened right after I was like, could you imagine having to do the, uh, <laughs> the tactical view in all these fights? <sighs> Going into Venture, you think the Blood Mage is a must there? Yeah, I hope so. I'm really looking forward to the lore into Venture. Four spiders never killed anyone. Haven't you ever played Darkest Dungeon? Hey, we got them all. Yeah, I'm really excited to go to, to, to Venture. So for anyone that didn't hear, speaking of not liking the transitions between the games and like how different the games are, Dragon Age 4 was originally gonna be a pay per month MMO. You're gonna have to pay, subscribe, and play it as a massive multiplayer game. And they changed it, they changed it. Um, so we got lucky there, probably dodged a bullet, maybe. But anyway, they changed it, so don't worry about that. Yeah, thank goodness they changed it. The script is in ancient elven dialect. Upon further observation, it twists the words, becoming invisible. There are no gods. There is only the subject and the object, the actor and the acted upon. Those with will to earn dominance over others gain title, not by nature, but by deed. I am Geldoran. And I refuse those who would exert will upon me. Let Andril's bow crack. Let June's fire grow cold. Let them build temples and lure the faithful with promises. Their pride will consume them. And I, forgotten, will claim power of my own apart from them until I strike in mastery. You wouldn't mind MMO? I, wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't mind it if it was kind of separate. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not. It wouldn't have been separate, you know? Like I would, I would want the lore from the game if it was MMO, but I would not pay fifteen dollars a month to play it. And man, having to go on like raids and st like dungeon crawls and stuff with your, with other people rather than having a party of your own, yeah, screw that. I'd rather control the four, the other people with me. But yeah, the, the combat is very much MMO though. In, in. Inquisition for sure, yeah, but I probably I would have played it. I would have missed out on all the story. Keep the online part of the game, make it a full game. Yeah. I mean, I always hope that every game is good, right? I don't want games to fail, but um, I definitely want Dragon Age 4 to be good. A staff, a level 21, well, I know level 24 staff. Spirit damage, attack, barrier damage bonus, guard damage bonus, plus 18 magic. So a lot of the hard enemies have barriers and guard, especially in this late game, so that might be really good. Adds cold damage to weapon strike. Yeah. Permanent to finish it, so then it doesn't grab you like the other ones does. Hey, permanent cold res, nice. Yeah, a lot of people said that. Story's good though, the lore and the story and the characters are good. It's just a, a long slog of a playthrough. Alright, so we want to go back to this path. Yeah, I actually liked Elder Scrolls Online too. Yeah, I don't see it talked about very much, but my wife and I played it as a... We didn't play it as an MMO, basically. You don't have to pay a subscription. If you pay a subscription, you get some bonuses and stuff, like access to more uh, the content, uh, more content, and you also... Uh, get like extra bag space and stuff. But anyway, my wife and I just played it as like a co-op. We just ignored all the MMO aspects of the game and she and I just played through it like a two-player Skyrim-ish game. And that was a lot of fun. I really uh, I really enjoyed doing that with her. Yeah, yeah, I did. You can do a lot of the dungeons solo and with two of us, um, we were able to do quite a bit, quite a bit, so. 
It was really good. It's We were talking about earlier how back when I played WoW a lot, I ended up getting... So I used to just level all the characters at max. I used to play WoW so much. I used to level all the characters at max, and I got in a bad habit of having an add-on that would literally just point me, me to the next most... Um, the next quest for the most efficient leveling. And I would get on a character, and I would skip all text. I would skip everything. Where was that book? I swear I saw a book here last time. I would skip all text, everything, and I would just run to the next spot. And I got in a bad habit of doing that, and I started doing it with single-player games. And my wife and I tried the Elder Scrolls Online, and that's what we were doing, because it was right after we were playing WoW. I don't know where that book was I missed earlier. Anyway, uh, it was right after we played WoW, so that's what we were doing at first. We were just, like, clicking through and just, like, going to the quest. We're like... And this isn't that good, like it's all right. And then we were like, wait, let's start over and let's actually listen to everything that they're saying. No, Rimworld, Rimworld tomorrow. Um, so Rimworld tomorrow and the rest of the week. Anyway, and we started over and we started actually like listening to everything the characters or the NPCs were saying and listening to the story and lore. It's actually pretty good. It's definitely, you know, a good Elder Scrolls game. It's just, we don't like the MMO part of it, so we just stopped doing that part of it. And uh, we treat it as, like I said, a co-op Elder Scrolls game, and it's pretty good. Yeah, voice acting is really good, and all the characters are, like, even all the minor NPCs are voice acted. It's really good. Stone Bear holds. Something exciting's happening. What's going, Ash? Like, yeah, Story Day is finally back. You would be safer under the shield of the jaws of Hakon. Hask Fisherson has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Skies. Pal, you owe four rounds to Hask, not three. Ha! Tear his tits. Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies. And hand the rams over from sunrise. That's what Ash like. May your people be as strong as your hold beast. Alright. There's the thing that we needed to talk to. There's also a fast travel here, which is really really nice. This is not my hold, Lomander. I will not shoot you. Right. Blood here. Doing all right. You will face the full might of the jaws of Hakon soon enough. We've heard of your arrival, Lomander. Come, share my fire where we might speak. Will do. Inquisitor, I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stonebear Hold. You have guest welcome here. Your Inquisition has come to heal the holes in the sky. We are grateful. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have come on a mission. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer... Give me a boat. Yours. Sadly, the jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their thane, Gerd Harrison. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. I'm going to regret playing this because you're going to go download it and play it on your own now. Do you leave a lurk? Thank you for the lurk. Let me know which uh, character you end up starting with. What's going stuff, Pokemon? Are we winning? I'm going to go with yes. I'm still getting back into the hang of things. I actually died on something I shouldn't have just a little bit ago. It's the first time we've died on this game in forever. Like, we fought all these crazy dragon battles and stuff. Fine, didn't die on them. And then I just wiped some spiders. It's like going back into Dark's Dungeon after not playing a long time. It's like, ah, spiders, how deadly can they be? When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. Don't play Greedfall. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the mountain father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is... <laughs> battle a rap battle? ...blunted weapons. I want to see the rap battle! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That seems reasonable. I'm just doing a reasonable. You know what? While in their house. It seems as fair a way as Thanks, any to decide such matters. 
In many cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. Freefall is pretty good. Staying, Such a terrible I game. I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. Hmm. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong mm -hmm. and our singers are pretty. Ah, oh, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'd like to know more about the jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What did the jaws What's of their Hakon problem? believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's breath. God of war and winter. They don't what? No they don't care about making babies? There are times they are evil. But the jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They rage, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago. After the blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrison lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing, but only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. Hey, we just had to preside over a um, a trial of, of someone trying to do the exact same thing. Literally burn the world down to, to renew it. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws. I don't care about the god making babies. Yes. Everyone cares about Many making ages babies. Ago, they thought of nothing but slaughter glory. Slaughter glory. They attacked the lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. Yeah, they were. I'll speak with Direct. you. Later. Farewell. Wait, no, no. Ask her about a boat. Inquisitor. How did you get the name Sun Hair? I was born Svara Janus Dotton. For my legend mark. I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. What? Uh... You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. You mistook your channel point number for the viewer count? You got excited for me for a second? Yeah, that would be nice. Wait, how many channel points do you got, Ash? Like, uh, Agram, I actually own Pillars of Eternity. I'm still blind to it. I haven't played through it. Uh, I will put it on the vote list, but it's also a long one, so. <laughs> 12 channel points. <laughs> Are they gonna fight them? 76.4 thousand, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there's not that many people watching me play Dragon Age, you know. The Hacker Knights are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be called. How long is Pillars of Eternity? In this hold. A casual playthrough. The Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old Completionist way. playthrough. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with Lowlanders at our side would make us oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that or so. my hold. What would change the weather? Among the other, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. You got bears when here? When a hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Yeah, I've heard good things Our about bear, it. Storvaker, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaker returns. 76,000 viewers, I can buy greed fall for everyone in chat. Why would I want to do such a terrible thing to them? You have members of the hold searching for Storvac. We're gonna find this friggin' bear. The hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were George, dead, welcome in. the Orga would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. The way you asked us to help find Storvacker made it sound like you were willing to break your... That's right, wash. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred. That no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. 
Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning fane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. I uh, know, but, but seriously, really quick, for those of you that are here for the first time for a story day, uh, we used to do this all the time, one day a week, one, um, and it was never good for stream numbers. I know stream numbers have been a lot better lately with RimWorld, and we're going to be back to RimWorld for the rest of the week, but I would like to get back to doing these things on Wednesdays. There's just nice kind of, it helps me to not burn out on like just pumping hours into a single game like RimWorld as well, and I, I enjoy it. It's fun. I don't have to worry about numbers as much. Just chill out, uh, play a game that I missed, usually a good game. Uh, so far, they've all been good. So if this is your first time here on a Wednesday, or even if it isn't, uh, thank you guys for coming in on something other than RimWorld. It is much appreciated. Um, stream's going to be a little bit shorter today. I'm not wrapping up now or anything, but I do have some other stuff I have to do. Uh, and we'll be back to RimWorld tomorrow, but I do want to uh, get Story Day going again because I really I really enjoy it. I think some of our uh, funniest stream moments have also been doing Story Day. If I find good palate bed, cleanser. You break the oath. What happens to stone Good for holds. mental health, yeah. Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath-breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. Sounds like an understatement there. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of you. Getting kind of burned out on you guys, Storm getting burned out on Rimworld. I can see that, yeah. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we. Your maker has turned from you, has he not? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. <laughs> Aspen. <laughs> Speak with our Augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaka matters to us. So about me and bears, this could mean a lot of different things. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were four bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Oh yeah, even the Fear big bears. will keep you respectful should you find Storbaka. You will be fine. So you're saying she's friendly? Um... <laughs> you're a bit burned out of Rimworld as well. Yeah, so for anyone that wasn't here earlier, the plan right now is we're going to continue the same RimWorld run we we're doing for most of the week. And then uh, in October, I usually do the last 13 days of October, I do horror games that I'm blind to. But instead, I'm going to do the first 13 days because of Darkest Dungeon 2 coming out in October. So the plan right now is in October, I'll be doing uh, 13 days of horror. It isn't all like jump scare horror. A lot of times I do atmospheric horror or just horror story type games. Uh, I'll let that... Uh, I'll get that list out to everyone soon. So the first 13 days of October, we'll be doing that. And then I'll be doing a uh, torchless playthrough of Darkest Dungeon Blood Moon difficulty leading into Darkest Dungeon 2. So October should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it as, as much as I'm absolutely miserable playing through those freaking games, but... Does Storvaka usually live in the hold? Does she stay in a pen or...? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. Yeah, I'll let you know so the list I'm thinking of, Ram. It's very nice of you to say. You want to get a horror plate through Green Fog in? Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. So you're going to be grinding through Arc again, huh? You played over the winter with your husband? Which map are you guys going to do? Are you going to have a server with multiple... multiple? Ah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. I'll speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me. So she would have cared if he just given us the boats. I know it's for story reasons, but the guy was very much like, Oh, no, no, I can't, I can't let you have a boat. You must speak to our leader. The Thane Svara Sunhair will tell you if you can have a boat or not. Thane Svara Sunhair. She did a battle with her hair on fire? That seems crazy. So here's me an unfinished letter. The handwriting is simple and the text has many phrases crossed out. Lowlanders, if you be brave enough to... Or legions, if you be brave enough... Merchants of Orlay, if... To those who wish to trade with Stonebear Hold, you should know me. I am Thane Svara Sunhair. I am Thane Svara Jane's Doton, known as Sunhair. Though my blade has tasted battle... 
tears many. Though my blade has tasted blood many. Though I have fought many battles, I wish no conflict between us. But instead, trade between our hold and yours. We have furs and leathers that put your lowland hides to shame, plus weapons that have tasted Hakan's winter. We have furs and leathers that will make your warriors look strong and your lovers look supple, plus weapons. <laughs> we have excellent furs and leathers and weapons like none seen in the lowlands. Trade honestly and well, and there will be coin for all. Cheat us and your blood will... Trade honestly and well, and there will be coin for all. Thane Svara son here. This is a fool's task. What lowlander would come with this, this far for furs they have not seen? Ah, uh, Korth. I just wrote that instead of saying it. The stupid lowland writing vexes the mind. The rest of the letter is a series of angry sketches of axes. <laughs> Supple lovers. About 80% through the island. We just need to finish some breeding and do all the bosses. And you'll know, transfer Scorched and so on. Gotcha. We never did the Scorched one. We did the island and then we did um, Ragnarok. Those are the only two that we did. Ragnarok was crazy after the island. Inquisitor. Friggin' enormous. Fair hunting. All right. Sigrid exiled herself from Stone Bear Hold. Sigrid refused to explain why. It may still be possible to discover the reason. The our Hold Beast has vanished, Thane's far as Sunhair cannot in good conscience fight the Jaws of Hakan. Speak with the Var villagers to find out where the bear might be. Your mind went lewd when they said finish the breeding. All right, let's talk to some people. Go this way first. It's still, I really enjoyed uh, going through Ark blindly with my wife like we did. Like, we knew nothing. We didn't look anything up. We, uh, we just completely went into it, just the two of us, completely blindly. And um, what I really enjoyed about it is thinking about what if we had made different decisions. Because the way that we explored the island, we could have done it completely different. But we went to the, we started in kind of the southwest, and we gradually went through the southeast, and we made different bases around, and we found that herbivore island thing relatively early into our playthrough, which was uh, an incredible boon to getting established. And then we had another little camp that we wouldn't mind at. Like, if we had gone west instead, we might have set up a, a base over at those cliffs in the southwest or something and explored that way. And it would have been a completely different playthrough. It's kind of a, a neat thing to think about. Like, what, what would have happened if we had gone a different route? All right, we're gonna sell these gray items over here. Seeker shield, level 12, yeah, we don't need that. That's from that low level zone. It was a lot of fun though. Looking forward to the second one. Yeah, like we didn't even know what all was in the game. Like we uh, kind of assumed what some of the dinosaurs would be, but we had no idea. Like the first time my wife saw like an otter, we're like what? She's like, there's otters? We gotta, we gotta stay here and, and, and tame otters. It's like, all right. Ah, uh, crazy. They were 18 months. Thank you. Crazy is a long time, man. That's almost a full year. Yeah, you're getting close. Oh, I didn't realize we had all those. Our bag's not too bad, so. I think we'll just sell these, uh. Oh, no, a bezoar. Bezoar is basically a hairball found in the gut of big, hairy animals, right? Do you know there's a museum that has the world's largest bezoar, bezoar, however you pronounce it? It's like, uh, I think it's from a bison or something. It's like a 14 inch long hairball or something. It's crazy. Why do I know this? I don't, I don't even know why I know this. When in blind, it came out on PS4 and it really stick. Started watching some channels a few years later. Now you have an app on your phone just for ARC. Ours is the best shoulder pet. Yeah, yeah. Keep you warm, yeah. So yeah, like the size of a basketball or something. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? When do you find the time to play games with your wife with your crazy schedule? We haven't been, uh, so we basically play for a few hours on uh, like Monday night right now. So this was back before I was streaming and working as much as I am now when we used to play like Ark and stuff. So now she and I basically play usually like two hours on like Monday night. 
hopefully we'll get a chance to kind of increase that again someday, but right now that's about all we have time for as far as games go. Avar Cuisine. What is thrown into the Avar's crockpots? What isn't? Far from the delicate creams and sauces of Val Royo, or the rich pies and ripe cheeses beloved in Ferelden, the Avar must subsist on whatever their mountain valleys provide. Nothing is too humble for their appetites. From the small, succulent snails found on hillside boulders, to fern fiddleheads harvested in the spring, this is not to say the Avar do not dine on more dangerous but far more filling fare. Hearts, rams, gurgits, and lurkers are all candidates. For communal evening meals, taken around the fire, lowlander spices, while not unknown, are great delicacies reserved for feasts. In fact, my parting gift to the Thane of Finnick Tooth Hold was, at his request, ten jars each of black peppercorns, powdered mustard, and antiven cord seed. Of our cooking methods favor utility, stews are common because they can be simmered until nightfall with small fuss. Holds by lakes or rivers will wrap fish in clay and pungent leaves and leave it to bake all day over banked coals. Most of our food preparation, however, centers around winter. From the spring thaw onward, the hold is an endless hive of activity as meat is smoked, vegetables are pickled, and fruits are dried and stacked in crude dirt cellars in preparation for the long dark. The long dark. You know, speaking of the long dark, I always meant to go back to that game. I played it in when it first hit early access. There wasn't much to it, but I enjoyed it, and then I just never got back to it. But I've heard it's it's really good. Despite this race against the seasons, the Avar freely leave our rich cuts of meat and piles of plump berries on wood and stone slabs around their village. They believe these offerings appropriate... Uh... Yeah, okay. A strange collection of beings they refer to as gods inhabiting the forest. The wise traveler attempts not to judge, and I was treated with all care due a guest, but I never became accustomed to the sight of good food left out by such a practical people. But yeah, I don't mind. Um, you can ask whatever questions you want, and if, if I think they're too personal or something like that, I'll just not answer it, but no, that's fine. Uh, so lately, for the past, I don't know, for the past month or two, my wife and daughter and I have been playing Stardew Valley multiplayer on Monday nights before my daughter has to go to bed on my day off. We're currently on fall of the second year. Series drawing, simple but artfully rendered, in, uh, indicates that the owner of this meat shop decided to spend the day mixing alchemical potions, more likely alcoholic drinks, and that people should take care of what they like and pay them later. Yeah, Stardew's really, really good. I like Stardew. Uh, we just, uh, we got the island opened, I think at the end of the second spring. Which uh, is new to new to me. I had played Stardew quite a bit before, but I haven't played since uh, they did a bunch of updates. Did I just let their food out? Eat his finch. Um, if you want pineapple, throw that in the Discord or whisper it to me, and I'll take a look up. Impress the holes. I'm not sure releasing their food was a good idea. I'm trying to impress them. It's alright, no one tell them. Yeah, this past Monday we got to floor 100 at the Skull Cavern as well. So yeah, we unlocked a lot of stuff on Monday. Do I have a potential game list for October? I do, yeah. I need to get that out. I already have some 100% uh, that I'm doing. Um, this is just exiting. Okay. I already have some that I'm doing 100%, and uh, some I'm not sure. Yeah. Had to let it out. It's just a piglet. Man, the scenery is really pretty in this game, too. I can't believe this game is like seven years old. Is it? Yeah, this game is like seven years old. It looks really good still. Will they help me decide? Yeah, yeah, I need to get the list out. Press the hold. Have I played this shore? No, I have not. So I don't know what that is. Wonder, right, but I can hold your attention for long. So much of the learning curve is just learning the map by heart. Yeah, that's it. Did they add a... Whoa, what's going on here? Did they add a story 
mode as well. Instead of just the survival mode, I think. You're the one they speak about in the lowlands, aren't you? The Herald of Andraste. Many call me that. It's me. Helmsdim Rolfson. I trade our goods outside the hole. You'll not find better this side of the mountain. Dying Light 2. Yeah, I never finished the first one. The first one was good, but played out half of it. And then I was... That was one of the ones I was playing and my wife was watching me play. We were doing off stream. And then for some reason we just stopped playing it. I don't even know why. Have you traveled outside of Stone Bear Hold? Korth Mountain Father provides... Call of Cthulhu last year was good, yeah. Source, and we'll admit there's Lowlander goods we can't craft ourselves. I sell our goods there. The old trader taught me how to read and write. And how to act in your cities. Which cities? Where does your trading take you? Denerim and Southreach in Ferelden. Leeds and Verche in Orlais. When the passes are clear, I take our ways to Val Royal. Man, he's been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. Surely you can get a fair price for your goods closer than Val Royal. Ah, well, that's truth, but... Win a muck mac seen it. My heart lies with the hold. Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it I watch about Dying Light. The light on the gates of the sun. How long is Dying Light on, like, completionist kind of run? I bet I've forgotten most of it, because it was brand new when my wife and I played it for probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 hours. Then slowly adding chapters. Worth playing. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Everyone thinks I'm mad when I speak of Orlais. They believe I make half of it up. As if I could dream up those... I think it was like 50 hours to 100% it. And those frilly little cakes. Most in the hold call any city outside the mountains prideful or lowlander folly. Farewell. Another time. Great, now I'm going to have that song in my head. I should have looked at what they actually had uh, for sale. Whoa. Ah, they have stuff for the holds. Interesting. I should check the others to see if they had any um, plans. Uh, I mean, I can do it. It's just right down here. Might as well. Yeah, 50 hours might be a little bit too long. So I'm trying to cram so much in. The other thing about the horror games this year, I'm going to have to play them during the day, which seems weird. Seems like it won't be as... Uh, as scary. All she has, yeah, all right. Just supplies, yeah. Okay. This will be the first one I've had it, or that I've done during the day. Completionist finish, average around 55 hours. Yeah, so maybe it's too long for that, but... I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That was weird. Some kind of artifact in there. Oh, yes, very important. I come up here and steal the grain. Winter is coming, everyone's on edge. They barely have any food. There's food everywhere. There's the auger. Nice place you have here. So he arrives. Don't throng. The problem is though, I have to have lights for the green screen. The man who blazes like fire and mends the air. Safe. They mean no harm. I am the ogre of Stone Bear Hold. Just spirits in me. You. As do our gods. Darkwood, I have not. <sighs> yes. It is done. Now I do know of Darkwood though. But her news of the north. I met a mage in the woods who said she used to be an ogre's apprentice. Sigrid Goldstoth. She left the hold when I told her she must release her. Alien Isolation was the first Aren't you her teacher? October game I ever played. It was really good. <laughs> oh, perhaps not. It's time the spirit in her was free. She's possessed. An abomination. Every mage in the hold. It was really good, yeah. With the gods, till they're strong enough. I thought Sigrid strong enough. I'll talk about that after this conversation. So, this will be the fourth year that I've done the October um, horror game thing, Adam vs. Evil, as we always call it. And the very first one I did, four years ago, Alien Isolation was the first game I did. 
and I went into it completely blindly. It was really good. I really enjoyed Alien Isolation. I w that's one of those games I wish I could play again and forget everything. And I don't think this will spoil it for anyone that's not played the game, because um, this is about the AI. But I really, so the AI in that game was very innovative in what they did. So in Alien Isolation, there are two AIs. There is the alien, and then there is like this god AI that you don't know about. And I didn't know about this until after the, the game was over and I researched it. But anyway, the alien basically is getting hints from the god AI of what where you are, what you're doing, and, and whatnot. This director, right? Yeah. And it doesn't tell the alien where you are exactly. It doesn't tell them exactly what you're doing, but it gives it hints. So it'll be like, um, the player character is in this general area, you know, and, and may, maybe, maybe you should look out for beds. Like, it just gives hints to the alien. I thought that was really cool. So it's two separate AIs that are going... One that's trying to get to you and kill you and doesn't know where you are, and one that's giving it hints, but won't directly tell it how to get to you. Yeah, and it definitely learns, too. So, for a while, I was hiding under beds, and the alien would just walk around the outside of the bed, and I was like... And I would just keep doing it, and I was like, man, this is kind of... It's kind of dumb, like, the beds make us invincible. And then I went under a bed, and the alien came, and it jerked me off from another bed and killed, killed us, and I was like, oh... All right, <laughs> apparently it learns. So yeah, it's it's a really awesome, uh, awesomely developed game. I really enjoyed all of Alien Isolation. Here's the saddest thing about it to me. Back then, four years ago, I didn't save VODs. All of the playthroughs from that first Halloween, the first Outlast, playing the first Outlast blindly, um, playing through Alien Isolation blindly, all those things are all gone. All those videos are gone. Feels bad. Why did Sigrid go into exile? Sigrid built an altar by the shore for her rite of thanksgiving, a ritual to part her from her teacher. Sigrid claims her offering was spurned by the gods. I have Outlast 2 up on YouTube, but taken to exile. not the first one. So, Amnesia, the first Amnesia, we played that the first year, that's gone. It's been. Got a weird bug in Alien Station that ruined the game for you. Sometimes after a cutscene, the game would go in slow motion to rebooted. Yeah, that's really weird. I did not run into that, luckily. I'd like to ask something. Then ask. Yeah, Dead Space. Uh, Dead Space 2 is up there, but Dead Space was the first year, too. First year, we did Alien Isolation, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, uh, Dead Space, um, First Outlast, and we led into all that with something that was more atmospheric. What was it? I don't remember. But yeah, all those are gone, unfortunately. I assume auger is another word for mage. I am a mage. Yet not all mages are augurs. I give counsel to other mages and the fame. In turn, an auger takes counsel from the gods and shares it with the hold. Hey, you missed I that first year. Known to us and ours to them. I think there's still some clips of it. Like I think exclamation jump is from the first dead space. Yeah, I'm pretty sure exclamation jump is a clip from that first dead space playthrough. So you're an ambassador to the local spirits. I've not played Limbo, no. For those willing to listen. They protect the hold. They help drive off spirits who've gone bad with rage or gloom. The gods live with us. Ignore their offerings, offer them nothing, and it weakens us all. I've heard enough to realize that when you say gods, you mean spirits. Why do you pray to them? We offer to them. We don't pray like the lowlanders to a creator they think will weather all the ages. Do you actually think they're divine beings? Something more than magic? The spirits watched us even before we came from the north. They shaped themselves into our gods, and we grew to love them. Hmm. Their secret gift is this, Inquisitor. They reflect us as water does the sky. They show us what we wish to be. That image gives us strength. For that, we thank the gods. Bloodstained is pretty good. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. Got, I got it from the Humble Bundle as well. Mages on purpose. What better teacher than one woven from magic? The spirits in the hold have helped us in this way for hundreds of years. Once a mage masters their powers, their teacher departs. Duty ended. Unless the mage is weak. That bug is hilarious. 
I think Exclamation Jump is from the first Dead or uh, from the first Outlast, and Exclamation Jump Two is from Outlast Two. God, so Outlast are those games that I I absolutely hated every moment, every single moment of Outlast, Outlast Two. I hated all of it, and then after I finished it, I was so glad I had played it. I was like, I am, I am glad I have experienced this. I act I actually love these games, but I absolutely hate. That I play every moment of it, <laughs> so I, that's probably exactly what the developers wanted too. But um, I'm I'm really glad I played through them. Uh, there is a new Outlast coming, and I'm worried that it's not going to be very good. I mean, I hope it's good. There's there's no the indicators for me that it might not be good is they're developing it as a multiplayer game. First and foremost, it is going to be a multiplayer game. It's like that gets rid of so much of the of the frights of the game. We'll see. What happens to these weak mages? Their teachers stay with them, and the other gods watch them both, so neither soul turns sick. If one does sicken, or the mage stands in risk of harming the hold, one day they do not wake in their bed. It is very sad. It is what must be done. Yeah, there's some hope. I'm just worried about it, yeah. It is kinder than what happens in many mage circles. What game am I talking about? Outlast 3 is going to be a multiplayer game, first and foremost. So I'm kind of worried about it. Um, Outlast 1, Whistleblower, and Outlast 2, they all connected. They're all to do with this, like, Markov thing. Like, there's a lot of lore behind it, actually, that I really enjoyed. I, I don't know. We'll see. It, they say it will be able to be played as be welcome. Uh, from one person. But that it is first and foremost a multiplayer game, which you worry about. It was Baby Adam, the Dead Space you know clip from four years ago. <laughs> Stovaka. No. I've asked the gods, but they've seen no sign. Baby Adam. Did you just introduce me to spirits? The gods of the hold clamored to see you. I obeyed. For I'm their voice and their auger. And if I didn't show you off, they'd hound me for months. What did you mean when you said I blaze like a fire? How do you think you appear to the gods of the Fade? To those beyond the veil, your hand burns like the Watchman's bonfire. Well, it should be even crazier now, because we actually drink from that. I, I still don't know if I did the right decision last time we played with Morgan, but man, I don't trust Morgan at all. Are you saying every spirit in the Fade knows where I am? Only those nearby, but thoughts spread... Yeah, I'll get it, uh, I'll get it ironed out and show you which games I'm thinking of. I'll put it on Discord, yeah. That you muddied Chimes waters where the cliffs are red, and returned again. What are these whispers clinging to you? Less and more than spirits. They sing old hurts. You can hear the Well of Sorrows. An echo... That's what I was wondering. Good. I've seen the last whispers of aged elf song in the fade. What you carry is hmm. older. So the Well of Sorrows. I so in some games it makes it so that uh, I, I really don't like it. it. Actually, it happened in some of this game as well, where things have changed, but they don't have it. They haven't programmed it for characters and places in the games to know what's changed. Like so, they're still talking to you under old and like early game stuff like even though other things in the world have changed so he actually made a comment about the well of sorrows and how the spirits see us differently and hear different things now that we've uh, drank from the well of sorrows so i was i was curious about that i should be off farewell it's one or two games on your list that they need to be yeah i'll show you what i'm thinking yeah all right was there anything else no i should be off Speaking of that, and I've, I've mentioned it before too during this playthrough, one thing that does kind of annoy me with this, and I don't know if it's because of uh, from when the game was made, like that was the common thing back then, seven or eight years ago. But one thing I dislike is when you are not able to pick up items or quest items, even if you see them on the ground until you have the quest. And you might say to yourself, well, yeah, your character didn't know he was supposed to get those. But I mean, if you see some kind of rune laying somewhere that's very suspicious, you can't click on it at all. And then eventually later on you get the quest and then you have to go back and get it. That's kind of annoying because some games will have it where 
when someone asks for the quest, if you've already gotten it, it's just like, oh yeah, I actually found this thing. It's right here. I was wondering what that was. Saves a lot of time. I'm having to go back just because it wouldn't let you pick up something you found. It can be kind of frustrating at times. So sort of understanding why they do that sometimes. Yeah, it makes sense with some some things like I was saying, but hmm. Let's see if this guy has anything else to say now that we talk. Nope. It's a thing. Can thing will lurk. Okay. It's part like that at the beginning of Skyrim. One of my favorite things to do every Skyrim playthrough is to sneak into that first shop and take the Golden Claw back after you give it to him. You go, you do this whole quest for him, and then you just crouch behind him and take it off the counter from right in front of him. He doesn't even notice. The traps were empty. It's like, no wonder you lost it before. Can't be. What an idiot. I like to say that my problem with Skyrim, it's not a problem with Skyrim, it's a problem with me. Every time I play Skyrim, I always end up being a stealthy archer. And there, it's not just me because I've seen memes about it, right? Like a lot of people do it. But I'll start a, I would start a playthrough and I'm like, all right, this time I'm going two-handed weapons only. I never just do two-hander only. Everything I do is going to be two-handed weapons. And then I'll be like, eh, maybe I'll sneak around and just go ahead and snipe this guy off the bridge. There's no reason for me to fight on the bridge. The next thing I know, I'm in all that, like, Daedric gear, the bow, it's like, whoops. <laughs> it's objectively the most effective build. Yeah, it's crazy good. Crazy good. So it makes sense a lot of people just kind of accidentally default into that build. Sorry, I walked on your table. You're the Inquisitor. Let's go and sill. Welcome in. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so Shill well bashing before? is pretty fun, yeah. It's really fun too. When he goes trading, he just returned from the lowlands. What are you doing, Solus? Keeper of histories and skull to the hold. I think Solus is on drugs. I've never met a skull. Is that anything like a bard? Just go for dagger still. I suppose every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Nothing but lightning bolts. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend mark. <laughs> the edge lord pace. I understood all of that except legend mark. The skull before me was born Gulda Elsdotten. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda. Gilda That's how we got the sun hair. So their titles, theme. honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Hef Mule's head. <sighs> Never let go Mules of a then. Let's go on Fleur Wokeman. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? Only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill. Yet. Farewell. Good journeys. Good journeys. Oh, I, I've stopped reading codexes for the last couple of streams of this, too. So, at, once we get through all the quests in the game, I'm going to have, like, 50 codex to read. That would be a great stream. Literally story day. Sit back. I'll do it as Granny. No, I won't. Sit back and let Granny tell you the stories of Dragon Age. World is this game. Felt how... Like it? Um... There is a lot of open space, yeah. They do a pretty decent job of letting you, um... Letting you fast travel. Uh, especially, like, this DLC area. There's lots of different fast travel areas. There's also a horse, which I end up not using as much as I probably should. Because I'm afraid I'm gonna, like, miss stuff and, I don't know, or get attacked and have to regroup and whatnot. But, yeah, it can be pretty open. It's a very massive game. Like, uh, the Hinterlands, which is the first major zone. The Hinterlands is bigger than a lot of RPG games in, it, in the, their entirety, so. You've need of a hunter, or you're just wondering. Now you lowlanders see many holds, but I'll tell you, there are 
None finer. You like Elder Scroll games, you're also no no idea why they're so good or why you like them so much because of all the flaws, yeah. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says Templar from Mexicon? That no one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark. And I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Goats. It's because you got your nipples I... out, man. Like me. How do you think I became the Grand Inquisitor? I apologize. I was just curious. <laughs> Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Listen, guy. I'm about to see your crap. <laughs> Do you have any idea where Storvacker has gone? Our old animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I don't think she'd run further. It just works, and it's a feature. But that's the game. Corrupting save files. Excuse me, I'm gonna wake you up to say things. I don't even know who you are. Inquisitor, I'm honored by your visit. A real good graphic would be. Yeah, pretty big one. Thin, cold Wait till you see Cassandra. Give me if I don't stand to greet you properly. How were you injured? Uh Rumorell's back tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boat. Anar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught New me. 3D mod. My leg got crushed against the rocks. Hasn't set properly. You seem <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, he seems troubled. <laughs> Listen to him. In part, prepares my father's body for sky burial. I knew it would be soon. I just... <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> You're not sure how no one in the game has ever... They Not only have they not interacted with my nipples, that's kind of a weird thing to say. No one's ever mentioned it. What was that one? We went to like this formal area. And everyone was in, like, uh, their formal wear, their military wear and stuff. It was like a grand ball. And we walk in with this, with our nipples out. And no one says anything. No one looks at us funny. No one makes any comment at all. That's the most... You know, this game is full of magic and spirits and dragons. That is the most uh, unbelievable part of this game, is no one talking about my clothing. <laughs> out of all those things... The naming of Stone Bear Hold. It starts with a man, Ivar Jerickson. Driven from their hold by war and misfortune. Misfortune? How dare you? Their thane dead, Ivar, led what remained of his people through the mountains. The winter was harsh. The winds of Hakan echoed through the peaks. The beasts fled and the hunters could find little game. Ivar's people grew weak. They feared themselves cursed. When the blizzard struck, they built a meager fire and huddled for warmth. When the blizzard lasted three days, they knew they would die. On the third night, while Ivar stood watch, he caught sight of a great gray bear through the snow. Though the beast was distant, Ivar could feel its eyes upon him and knew he must follow. Alone, he made his way through wind and snow. The great bear walked ahead of him, always distant, but never out of sight. At last, the bear stopped. Ivar came to stand beside the bear and saw before him a sheltered place where his people might be saved. He reached out a hand to his guide, but instead of fur, he found gray stone. So Ivar knelt before the stone and gave thanks to, to Korth, for he knew the mountain father had taken the form of a bear to guide him here. Ivar returned to his people and led them to the sheltered place. Ivar Jerickson became Ivar Snow Favored, and the people swore to honor him as their new thane. The hold was given the name Stone Bear in honor of Ivar's vision, and in this place he gave... Or he have we have grown strong. Tongue tied there. Miss Fortune? That's right. Anyone? <laughs> Masters of the hunt. Alright, looks like there is a um a structure up here, a monument. And someone to talk to. It's a stone effect. So. Don't look directly at the nipple. The tale of Hing Hringar, ice troll. Tremble at the ice troll Hringar. Guard your gaze against his wrath. Dead to dreams as dwarves below us. Fools in folly block his path. Weapons weeping, Abar warriors struck to seek their legend mark. 
Fed not fortune but the lady, folly fallen in the dark. Dead to Hringar's fury, freezing. Creepy. Needs a hat. And breeches. Maybe a moustache. <laughs> oh, that's good. We can draw one with soot. Alright, you go for it, Sarah. I'm gonna leave the evil statues alone. So, come to test yourself. How so? Our warriors want your measure, Inquisitor. Bring us an offering, and we'll let you fight Hakon's trials. Stonebear Hold would know if the spirits favor you. So would I. Do you run this arena? I do. I'm called Arkan Felsen. I prepare warriors for the gods. Truly, I drill it into young heads. I did play no League yet. Yeah. Knowing how the axe swings or the arrow flies. So I played League of Legends in the beta in the first two seasons, and uh, then I stopped playing it. Um, for quite a long time. Then I had a bounty to play it like a year ago, and it's it's completely different now, obviously. But yeah, I remember Misfortune. I think the last time I played League of Legends, actually, like, played it often, was right when Hecarim came out. So, you know, like eight years ago. Something like that. What kind of person to grab a pool noodle and just start hitting people with it? Who would do such a thing? Painting the poetry, if I'm bad at reading it. A little column A, a little column B. What do you mean, prepare your warriors for the gods? I'm not trying, though. The gods see us become worthy. <laughs> worthy of what? I'm just reading. The second strength when you most need it. A glimpse that spots a blade at your heart. Warriors must show their will for these gifts, and the will for practice. Interesting. You draw in spirits influenced by these ritual battles to aid you during real conflict. Didn't I say as such? Yes, but of course. <laughs> My apologies. Get wrecked, Solus. Solus does have a bad habit of doing that, doesn't he? He like re-clarifies what the person already said. And just say it, says it again, but like in more advanced wording. This guy called him out on it. It's like, uh, yeah, I just literally said that, elf. What is this trial exactly? Battle against our best wit and muscle. Repeats a joke, but worse, yeah. Not to death, just surrender. In case you're afraid. I've faced much worse than the Avar. That demands proof. We're ready to see it when you have the courage. <sighs> My nipples are ready. Alright, let's do it. Can we begin this trial of Hakon? Hakon? We need an offering from you first. To honor Hakon we want. the dead. Farewell. I will get it. Well met. I have the we stuff it says, but do I have to go? I think I have to go put it somewhere else. Yeah. From you first. You wanna hack on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is where they watch from. Interesting. My nips are ready. Alright. There's no area down there I haven't gone to either. Out of the way, Blackwall. Tom. You're lucky I still call you Blackwall. Tom. What's the best way to get over there? Hey, someone actually commented about my clothing. About time. Why do they dress like that, she says. Black wall, that's right. Oh, man. It reminds me of this stupid crayon thing. Surely that person's trolling. Uh, hello. Be welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about? Do you want to hear more? So, basically there are some people that got upset. I don't know if they're just trolling or not. That Crayola uh, put 
the word for black in other languages on their crayon. Like, there's three or four different, so that, because they sell them in different places around the world. And one of those is used as a racist word in one language, but not the other. I'm sure, you can look it up to get more details. I'm not going to say it, even though it's not a racist word, just in case. But nipples out is former wear in my country. Should we ask her if she wants to get formal? I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the lady of the again. skies. The body, unneeded, Cancel is Spanish. Gone. Well, that's kind of gross. I mean, <laughs> I know it's all culturally based, but... We bury people to the sky. What does that mean? We just put them out and let the buzzards eat them. Do you guys know... Alright, I don't know why these things are coming up and where I know this information from. But, uh... uh buzzards are actually one of the only big birds that are kind of communal and, like, hang out with each other and whatnot. But also, they have this weird interaction where... Like some people, when when a person sees another person or hears another person throw up, another you know that person will throw up. Do you guys have that like like, like weird gag feel when other people throw up? Well, it turns out buzzards are that way. So if one buzzard throws up, another buzzard will throw up. Well, back in like the 1800s, at some point, like um, late 1800s or whatnot, I forget where. I want to say it was in like Kentucky. Over about the size of a football field, it rained meat meat thin pieces of meat and the people uh didn't know what was going on and they were trying to figure it out and whatnot and some of the people even ate the meat to figure trying to figure out what it was and they came to the conclusion that it was probably bear meat they ate it they ate meat that come out of the sky well it turns out the most likely cause of it is that a great a big group of buzzards ate a dead bear carcass they flew up into the air uh together and then one of them had eaten too much and threw up regurgitated rotten bear meat. And that caused all the other buzzards to start throwing up as well. And I guess this is an actual thing that happens. And so, could you imagine this rotten meat starts raining out of the sky? So anyway, you can look it up, but there's this thing that happens where groups of buzzards will literally all throw up together in the sky and rain down rotten meat. Nature's crazy. Saw a video a couple weeks ago. Hordes of buzzards waiting to get the corpse ready for sky burial. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like a cultural thing, but man, it's crazy. Crazy to us, I guess. Buzzard throw up just joining the channel. Well, yeah, and then the people ate it. It's like, oh my god, what? I'm sure you can find it. it is a Be careful searching for meat showers on Google, though. Is made to the yeah, yeah. Measure to protect the, the flock, yeah. A I think so. It's like, oh no, that one's thrown up. There might have been some bad stuff in that meat. Let's all get rid of it. Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Holden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift. Dangerous but food type, if my yeah. Suggestion appeals to you. Speak to the Huntmaster. This is a DLC part, yep. Holden's son is injured. It's not his fault he can't make the offering. As disappointing as that may be, it is not my place to ignore the gods' laws on a whim. I honor them in word and spirit, Inquisitor. You suggested a way around tradition by letting me make the offering. The spirits have seen Finn fail. To undo it may be to undo their will. A gift from another does not bear this weight. Holden's soul could travel easily. She's she needs to be a lawyer. Lady, keep you. She's skirting around all these on technical these rules. What are you doing, Sarah? On technicalities. 
Grocery eye for you. Vomit. Meat that buzzards vomited out. Vomit. Mmm. I can't tell if that's a bird. Those are just people. How did you guys get there? They were helicoptered in. Just like Nana used to make. But yeah, we're in the Frostback Basin DLC. Yeah. Chilling in a rock middle of the sea, as one does. What is that clip? Is that me telling the buzzard story? What is it? I don't even know what it could be. Oh, the no nipple interaction from earlier. <laughs> the inter so what are the interesting things about what is what is this guy doing? I don't think this is what I don't think this is where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Um, that meat thing is that they never 100% found it. It's still just a theory. That's what it's from, the buzzard thing. And they actually kept a piece of the meat in a, like, Kentucky museum or something for a very long time, and it went missing. This, like, meat that's, like, 120 years old. It's just a theory. A vomit theory. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering for Calden. How would, as a gift, sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offering's made to Forbidden cough. jerky. Only creatures who touch the gods' realm will do. <laughs> a museum sky last spotted. It'd be an Vomit unmatched theory. gift, Lowlander. I still pity Colden's son, though. Losing his father's name. You're gonna be sad if Vomit Pigs aren't in Dark Dungeon 2, Pineapple. Do you mean? Finn failed to complete the rites. That'll see him disowned when the burial's complete. Wait, so he does this or he's Oh, she is still wearing the mud, yeah. What? Sarah, yeah. Never mind. You help. He's fatherless whether you do this or not, Inquisitor. You were just typing that? Seeing it done will give him some peace, I imagine. Farewell. Hmm. Farewell. Fade touched creatures killed. All right, what is this one? So that's where the bear is. Father's name, father's name, all right. And down here, Sigrid exiled herself in the stone bear. Hold, Sigrid refuses to explain why. It may still be possible to discover the reason. All right. This one's just right down from us, so we'll go down there next. I guess I can ride the horse. We've already scanned everywhere. Clan of stripper adventurers, yeah. It's a new, uh, it's the Magic Mike expansion. Should have been playable Dark Souls 2 hero. They're the real heroes. Stop talking about my clothes, lady. Why are they dressed like that? Where I'm from, it's real hot. Want to keep your uh, areolas aerated. Versus BDSM. Let's get off here. The bond strap with armor is. Should this. we look around? Yeah, Tom, I'm on it. Oh my god, am I gonna fall? It's it must be right under me. Oh Jesus. How are you guys already down there? All right, I'm gonna cheat. Wait, now you're back? Well, this is bull crap. <laughs> versus BDSM, versus strippers, versus Dragon Age. <laughs> Sounds like a band name. Aerated, aerial was. 
I'm with you on that one. That's another thing I really don't like is the uh, echolocation crap. And what it... So, it's kind of interesting to, like, look for hidden things. But what it ends up boiling down to is literally at some point you realize I need to hit V always. Because it reveals everything. Even, like, ore and everything. And so it becomes, like, since you have to do it all the time, it should just... You should just be able to see these things anyway. Because it just gets annoying. It's like, oh, I just have to walk around hitting this button. Wow. A lot of people said they ended up rebinding it to their mouse wheel and just literally as they play, just scroll the mouse wheel up and down. Not fun. Interactive gameplay. <laughs> you were listening to the stream of the car. If Pillars gets played before Divinity, you will storm the gates of Indianapolis. <laughs> Uh, we are known for our gates here, yeah. The only way in and out through the gates of Indianapolis, yeah. Hmm. You got some planes? Plane in you. Explain to do, Sigrid. Chernobylite has a thing like that too that's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I should have probably looked for a mod that just makes it so that these things... Like, it, it doesn't do anything extra for gameplay. It's just an annoyance. It has a cooldown in that one, too. Ugh. What is that house? Oh, okay. That's where we get the boat. I don't want to go there yet. Ramparts from time to time. Yeah, man, that's why I can't stream on Mondays and Tuesdays anymore. Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm on the Ramparts. Rampart duty at Indianapolis. That's what I'm feeling your name. We, uh, we get up there, we eat cheese curds, and we play uh, Cornhole. <laughs> cornhole. I already told the Cornhole story like, a couple weeks ago. But for anyone that wasn't here, I didn't know... Cornhole meant a really different thing where I grew up. So I didn't know that beanbag toss is called cornhole until I moved here. Where is Sigrid? Maybe we should go to that one. Ah, there's a fast travel anyway. So uh, we first moved here and like the neighbors were being all nice and stuff. And they came over. One of them gave us some kind of like banana bread thing. And they're like, oh, we should have you guys over for some cornhole sometime. And I was like... No, that's okay. <laughs> like, I... We're not really, like, the... We're not that tight. We're not swingers or anything. Thank you. I'm flattered, but no, I'm good. It's, it's beanbag toss. Beanbag toss. It's going beats? Yeah, it's finally back. How's it going beats? The swinger neighborhood. Everyone... Why does everyone keep inviting us to play cornhole with them? The great Cornholio, yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. I guess he's god touched and too weak for it. You play all the time, you know, with your buds. Yeah. The twist, the neighbors do all call it beanbag toss. <laughs> no, I, I figured out pretty quickly what it really was, so I did I didn't say anything like that to them for real. But no, they did really invite us and I was like I just, I assumed it was something like that, but I never really heard it called that until we came here. How long have you lived in the base? Stone Bear Hole's been here a few generations. I was gone further north, but we left before I can remember. One of the guys you play with is from Indiana, and they're very good at it. The jaws of See people playing it here all the time in their yard. People are expecting a raid. <laughs> Beanbag toss is also lewd. You don't agree? They seem 
bigger fools than that, for all they're boasting. That cannot say what they plan, but it bodes ill. Rimming every day for a thousand people audience is not a problem, but a little bit of cornhole with the neighbors suddenly weird. <laughs> Fane Sunhair gave me guest welcome at Stone Bear Hole. You're really confused by cornhole too? As a guest then, may I please borrow your boat? We would be poor hosts to refuse. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive. All right, the boat is ours. Was this where I didn't read? There was somewhere earlier that there was a book. No, I specifically mentioned that this guy didn't have any books to read. Man, I feel like it was like over in the mountains somewhere, so who knows if I'll ever find it. Okay, Lina. Runa should be here. Where did she get to? Are you looking for someone? My cousin Runa. As a British person, you don't know what beanbag toss or cornhole is. So basically what it is, is there's this, uh, there's this large wooden board and it's kind of sloped like this, like may maybe, yeah, not a great angle, but it's kind of sloped. And then maybe 20 or 30 feet apart, there's another one. And you would throw, there's a hole in it, in the middle of it. And you throw bean bags, uh, probably like four, four inch by four inch, like square bean bags. And you throw them from one side, trying to get through the hole on the other and there are some other minor rules to it and how you get points and whatnot and all this but it's kind of like it's similar to, in a way to like how if you know horseshoes it's kind of a similar setup only instead of a pole it's a board with a hole in it instead of horseshoes you're throwing bean bags like throwing giant tea bags that's funny <laughs> hang on a ram just cause they said they're british you don't have to put this in terms of tea I'm sure they they can figure out what a bean bag is without saying it's like giant tea bags. No, <laughs> curls fun. You never heard of the game before? Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Farewell. Good day to you. Well, let me put it in terms that a British person would understand. He's fully understand now because <laughs> the tea bags. So. Bean bags, tossing, corn holes, holes, tea bagging. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Are we gonna go over there first? I feel like I wanna finish this part for uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll okay, we'll look at this. Follow the trail to find Runa. The British call the game teabagging. That would be incredible. <laughs> Start up a local uh, beanbag toss cornhole type game where you are across the pond there, as, as we say. We we'll call it teabagging. New satisfactory update. Yeah, I haven't played that yet either. You're gonna get right on it. <laughs> Report back to me with your tea bagging efforts. There's a lot of loose stone here. And an Avar axe. Looks like the start of a trail. The woman at the beach said her cousin Runa went climbing. Maybe this is where she began. You binged it and you haven't played. Yeah, I remember you saying that, that you went a little bit too hard on it. Aha! This is where the book was, where we uh, found the shards. Thank goodness. Imagine how. Excuse me. Can you get your snout out of my anus? Anyway, I'm. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to talk here. Do you imagine trying to say we 100% of the game, but we didn't read this single book? What liars we would be. Leatherbound Hakonite Journal. Thane Harofsen thinks he alone can work the words of Lowlanders. As though the augurs had not learned the tale, drawing runes to study the old magic. He is blind, but the jaws of a Khan would not be here without him. A hold needs blind men with big blades sometimes. In the old times, the first Jaws of Hakan spoke with the Great Spirit himself. 
he opened their eyes that they might see the elf stones hidden across the world and they entered the old cave and learned the mysteries of winter their working of cold let them slip through the ice wall that wards the lowlander fortress and we must now do the same if we are to take it as our own Makan has been silent all our lives he cannot speak to us in dreams or open our eyes and we remain blind to the elf stones the lowlanders though have found a new way to see them the skull of a dream slain tranquil set with the right magics can bring the elf stones to our sight we will regain the mystery of winter we've already done this so, so we already found all the elf stones all the the shards and we used it to unlock the door of winter and we got permanent cold resist which is nice Someone should quote that. I don't know if we have any mods uh, that are left here. I probably should get a couple of people to mod during the day streams. I, most of our mods are from when I used to stream over the night, and I haven't gotten anyone. Uh, so I'll, I'll look into getting some people to help with it. But if you want to throw it in Discord, uh, I'll get the quote added. Lunar. <laughs> Her types like that are just facts, really. Yeah. I was talking about the other day, like, how some stereotypes are, like, positive things. It's like some places l lucked out with that sort of thing. So it's like, you get, I'm not going to say something, but you get some of these really bad negative stereotypes, right? And then you have, like, Canadians. And it's like, Canadians, they're really nice. Okay. Yeah. Canadians are just real, they're just really kind. Everyone there, they say thank you. And have you heard them pronounce house? They're just really nice. It's like they lucked out. Is that a clip of my anus? <laughs> Friendly wildlife. It must be the clip of the anus. Ah, uh, yes. You can never have enough anus quotes and clips. Darn those nice Canadians. There. Another trail marker. This seems like a little bit of a waste of an axe, honestly. The cool thing, or the nice thing about this, I should say, is it looks like it's leading us to where the bear is going to be. National stereotype about Ukrainians is that we are very hospitable. That's true, or it was like two centuries ago. <laughs> So wait, if I go to the Ukraine and I knock on anyone's door and I'm like, hey, I'm a traveler and I'm hungry. Can you feed me? Will they feed me? Or will they feed on me? Which one? I need to know. Because, yeah, I'm definitely planning on being in the Ur Ukraine any moment. Well, I think that's down there. Wayne liked on your Twitter comments to be. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Depends on who you ask him. <laughs> Feed on you if you're marinated, maybe. It's right there, okay. They'll feed and house you if you bring enough money. <laughs> I think our mountain climber was here. She isn't very good at it. No mountain. I really like tea too. I don't I don't like coffee at all, but I like tea. Maybe bathing grape is a bad idea for your trip to the Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to cancel your trip to the Ukraine, I think. Another marker here. Climb up these, even though there's this path. So one thing that makes this game so much larger, I mean, it's larger in every way than like Origin, but this game has, there was like no verticality in Origin at all. Everything was just, I mean, there was like some stairways and stuff, but not like this. Not like this at all. Nothing even close. Just in time. Join the fray. Fight a worthy one. Oh, 
Got it. It almost really looked like a beast hairless aardvark or something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It's like they needed another kind of animal. They're like, man, we've we've already checked off everything that's that makes sense. Well thought. I'd heard Lowlanders were about. You'd be the Inquisitor from the hand. Your cousin was looking for you. Oh? Oh! The fishing! I was to help Lena with the fishing. I must make an offering to the gods first. Shall I give your names in the prayer? What's an offering prayer? I've climbed this hill a thousand times. Today, it was as if a wind from the spirits lifted me. I was going to thank the gods with a brace of nugs. That beast must have scented the meat. You offer meat to spirits? The Lady of the Sky sends her birds, and Korth Mountain Father sends his wolves and bears. They wouldn't normally hear the prayer of a lowlander, but since you helped in the fight, I'll speak for you. There's at least one more dimension than my usual streams. Yeah. It's <laughs> going, Kyle, welcome back. Uh, Rimworld's back tomorrow, but on Wednesdays, I'm normally with Rimworld on Wednesdays only, but the rest of the streams are Rimworld. Actually, um, excited to get the mountain base up and running if Randy lets us. I can't believe we made it to where we're at, but uh, we actually started digging out the mountain, so feel like we can survive bugs now. So after we get in the mountain, we'll start recruiting tomorrow. I'd be honored to be mentioned in your offering. The spirits will remember. A precious gift, Inquisitor. I expect it will be helpful. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Whatever, Sarah. Classic British food, jellied eels, haggis, black pudding. Mmm. The lady keeps the skies, where blows the morning wind. Korth grants mountain shelter. Where Hack on pink on hide and bone. Take this gift from Runa Lee. Not that I know of. Why? And the Inquisitor from the lands below. Might be out of the loop on something. I just felt something. A blessing? That's a good sign. You bring fine luck, Harold. It's gone, right? Good. To match my character? <laughs> Fascinating. Spirits rarely answer calls from those who aren't mages. We've been favored. The gods don't always. Oh, appear. I got a plus one strength. I'll tell nice. Lena this tale. Perhaps a good story will put a smile on her face. Yeah, I'm gonna roleplay this. Next Wednesday I'll have my nipples out on display. Uh we leveled up quite a while ago and I kept just not putting the point in. So at this stage, we have like everything I want. So it's just like, I'm not even sure to put points in. I'll actually, I don't want any more active skills. I use all of these already and uh, you only get eight active skills on your bar. I don't use number three that often. So maybe I could replace that one, but it does come in handy. So I'd mainly be looking at some passive stuff, but. I mean, I can make it so when I get attacked, I do damage back to the enemy, but I'm not really getting attacked that much because I'm not tanking. I don't want either of those. I could take that special, but I would much rather use the Inquisition one. Um, I could upgrade the number three one, Block and Slash, or I could... Man, it's just, Whirlwind is so good. Like, I can't imagine me... Well, I don't know. Hang on. This actually costs zero stamina. Tears open the ground with a shockwave that batters enemies caught in its path. Hits twice. So it has two chances to crit, so that's good. Area effect 12 meters, cooldown time 17. I might just take that. We're not really using the the block one very often. And then what are the upgrades to it? Immobilizes enemy struck, that also would be nice. Or flames that deal 20% weapon damage per second. That's also nice. Hmm. Why are you streaming today? Your download has completed your debate on whether to finish stream or go play. I'm actually supposed to be off here by, by two today because I got that play test to do. So at the most, I'll probably be on here another 50 minutes or something. <laughs> Could you just one or the other? Yeah, what, whatever you'd like to do, obviously. All right, I'm going to put that in place so that I got to remember that. Oh my God, the Leon is ready to report. Hmm. 
Man, I feel like we should go do that immediately. Strain the playtest? I can't. I can't even tell you which company. It's, it's a really... They're very serious. It's a big company. They're really serious about the NDA thing. They even had... I had to have my wife sign in the NDA because she's in the same household as me. So she might hear some of the audio from the game. Like, I've never had anything like that before, but it's very, uh, they're being, like, really serious, and they, in it, they were like, we will absolutely persecute people if they go against this NDA thing, where a lot of things are just like, oh, it's all right. My daughter, my daughter didn't have to, uh, maybe because she's underage or something, but, I, I, yeah, I don't want to get sued. It's a big company. Uh, so we're going to come back here, but the, um... The war table stuff takes so long that when one's done, I need to go do it immediately and sit down another one. I can't even tell you what kind of game. Can't tell you the name, can't tell you the company. Uh, I talked about it at the beginning of the stream, so but so I know a lot of people missed it, but basically a few months back, like three months ago, I was contacted by the, and they were like, hey, this, this is so-and-so from X company. And uh, judging by the type of games you play and stuff on stream and, and how you interact with people and the kind of content that you produce, we're interested in you playtesting a game for us and giving us feedback. And they told me how much they would pay me and how many hours, it was seven hours total. And uh, they were like, we can't tell you anything else, nothing else at all. Do you want to do it? And they were like, you're going to have to sign an NDA before we can even tell you the name of it, the genre, anything. And I was like... All right, <laughs> sign me up. And uh, I didn't hear back from them for like two months. And then, uh, or maybe like two and a half. So just a couple weeks ago, they contacted me and they're like, all right, here's the NDA, NDA, here's the contract, here's how much we're paying you. Uh, here's all this, I need your wife to sign this as well, blah, blah, blah. And um, do that. And then once that's signed, I'll give you the name of the game and how to access it and all this stuff. And so they just, reached out at the end of last week and they're like here's the game key here's how to access it don't say anything about anything that could relate to the game in any way so anyway i have to do like two hours of it today dream daddy part the the datafying honeypot vr <laughs> probably a game that I would like. Hope so. You think it's some crazy hentai game? No. <laughs> I can I can deny that at least. You want to stream? Work hard? Give me more than an hour of training? Maybe you could do it. When do you get to move back over to the old team that you were talking about, Aspen? <laughs> it's going woozy. Comments to your spy master. She is a resourceful woman. Once she traced our agent to Cayman Brea, the match was ruled in her favor. Tell Sister Liliana to call off her dogs, save them for Corypheus. We suspect also that she has gotten all she can from Sir Helmuth. A caterpillar on a leaf does not know there is a forest about him. You will hear no more from us. Our intention was to watch and we have seen enough. Corypheus threatens us all and the Inquisition is Thetis' only hope for stopping him. Remember that, for the moment, we are not your enemy. As a gesture of goodwill, we share our knowledge. May it prove valuable in your coming battle. On behalf of power across the sea, the executors. Interesting. It's Microsoft. It's key for the next Minesweeper. Finally. Let's go on, Dan. <laughs> Welcome in. Seeing you for a year. You're going to try to transfer back. So when is your year up? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done something like this, so I think it's really going to be interesting. I, I've never done, like, a playtest thing, behind-the-scenes sort of thing, and uh, I'll be happy to share it with you guys whenever it ha And you know me, I'm very... Like, I'll tell you what I think about a game. Like, I'll be, like, tactful about it, but if I don't like it, if I think it's not worth it, or, you know, whatever, I'll let you know. But uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, it depends on how long their development process and whatnot takes. Um, so... Don't call off Lily on a hot take. Uh, how long in on this one? Just 14 minutes. <sighs> uh, suing Chinese YouTube to get 11 leakers to go after those 11 leakers. <laughs> You've been meta tested. Now you'll be beta tested. Alright, so we can send Liliana out. 
Uh, let's see. I still, uh, we, ha I don't know. We have something that says that we need to do a, um, something at the Storm Coast, but like, there's not one here. I'm wondering if we have to go to the Storm Coast and actually see the area. Some of them are like that. Like, you have to actually go to the area and click on it. It's like, oh, now you'll have a mission set back up to do at home. I'm guessing that's probably what's going to happen. But anyway, let's send uh, her out somewhere else. That one's completed, completed. Those are just resources. Can't do that one because people are currently tasked with me else. Let's go in the last one. So Adam, how was the game? It's utter crap. Don't buy it. Okay, which game should we avoid? I can't tell you. <laughs> Doesn't Dragon Age feel like it's underrated? I I think that Inquisition is better than people... I was worried about it. A lot of people told me that they hated it. They were like, I absolutely hate the game. And I think 90% of the people I talked to said they never finished it. But it's one of those that it's so massive and there's so much to do. I can see getting burnt out on it. So if it's something that you just play every now and then, uh, that's going to take you forever like it has with me. But I think that's probably the way to do it. But no, I like it overall. Uh, the combat is like whatever, like the gameplay itself is kind of fine, but the actual lore and story uh, line and all that in Inquisition is really good. I really like um, how, because the game is so much massive than the previous ones, uh, it's able to flesh some things out more with like lore in the game that you find and whatnot. So, I mean, I like that a lot, but for me, the game is about the lore. Uh, it's nice that the combat is, is fine. I don't, I don't mind the combat. I know some people really hate it, so. Mistress Holden has been sentenced to provide relief to the people of Sarnia, who suffered because of her alliance with the Red Templars. She has purchased supplies for the town, but is having difficulty moving them up the river. She has asked Inquisition for aid. Convert some of our couriers there. Better this relief arrive in bits and pieces than not at all. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead and send uh, Liliana. Let's see what we have. It's going, Frag. Welcome in. Thank you, Frag. I think I really like Dishonor. I think so, too. It looks like something I'd really enjoy. You finished it multiple times. Really got annoyed by the combat. Move Mage to back. Mage goes into close quarters. Melee combat. So something that helped... I, you might have already figured this out, too. And it still happens occasionally. But something I found out that seemed to help a lot with the, the AI was... Uh, let's see. Have them follow themselves. That helped so much. So in the beginning of the game, I was having them follow me, or I was having them follow the tank, or else they would like just get, I, they wouldn't hardly participate or whatever. But when I set them to start following themselves, they seem to do self-preservation a little bit more. So like when we enter combat, instead of Sarah and Solus running in close to enter combat, as long as they're in range, they'll start the combat from where they are. And if it's something mass, like a dragon or something, where you're going to have to literally get them out of AoE, or else they're just going to stand in it like a bad raider from WoW or something, um, you're going to have to select them and move them out of it. But following themselves seem to help with a lot of the AI issues. So if anyone does play the game and you have problems with range characters acting kind of stupid, the other thing I would say is there are melee mage weapons. So if you give your... Um, there are certain staffs that are melee. If you give your range characters those melee staffs, they will run in. They will they will run in. Uh, and in fact, there's a whole build set up like that. Like Vivian kind of goes into that build pretty easily. So you have to be careful with which mage weapon you give them. Uh, some of them that don't look like they're melee actually are, but then also the follow behavior. Sounds maybe like poorly written AI. You think you're in love with Sarah? <laughs> Oh, Cullen's back. Annoyed with using the tattoo camera, setting it all up, then they just run into the AOE fight. Yeah, yeah, so setting your range to follow themselves seems to help with a lot of it. You never used Viv because their magic's all out close. You like Cullen? <laughs> So 
Some animals in regions with closed rifts exhibit fewer altered behaviors, but the results are inconsistent. Several anomalies in hunting patterns suggest that breach still impacts local wildlife. Furthermore, some species persist in erratic behaviors. I suspect that both the opening and closing of rifts cause fluctuations in the veil that continue to disturb their natural instincts. Long-term effects still unknown. Studying the flight patterns of local songbirds may yield further results. I have forwarded a 50-page report to Commander Cullen outlining ways to counteract aggressive behavior in several species. Well, Cullen can read that. I'm not going to. Cullen, uh, he's the one with the blonde hair. The, the guy that was just there in that picture. Cullen the Templar. So that's just resources. Completed, completed... Just making sure. Completed, completed. Oh, I forgot all about this. Surely the Inquisitor cannot be a part of such things. It seems a base prank to intentionally disrupt such an affair. A memo from Josephine written on the letter from Sarah. This guy is a special prick. Swats his people around, thinks his sovereigns pay for it, embarrass him at his own party, and you please a dozen people. People with keys. And little else. Sarah. A date and time are scribbled below, also an Orlesian mask with other masks for eyes. Alright. Do it. Inquisitor. Yeah, I wish... Yeah. I agree. So, two things with the uh, mission table. You can only view it in this room. Like, I understand only being able to send people off, but you can only even view it in this room. And there's no, uh, there's like a list for the Inquisition, Inquisition perks, but not a list for like current missions and things. That would be so nice. There's probably a mod. There are mods for the game, but yeah, I agree with you. Adamire, Sarah. <laughs> I did not play Knights of the Old Republic. That is one of those classic games that I, that I missed. So when I play the remake or whatever, if, if I do, it'll be all brand new to me. So I'm still blind to that one. A lot of people ask me, they're like, Adam, how did you miss things like Knights of the Old Republic? How, how did you remain blind to Mass Effect for 10 years? And it's because I was playing so many, not only was I working and my family and stuff, but it was because most of the time when I played a game during that time, that's all I played. So like StarCraft Brood War, that's like all I played every waking moment I had to play games. That's all I did. I played competitive Brood War and that's like, it. That's it. And then when I did WoW, that's like all I played. That's all I played because it was a friggin' job. I was leading a raiding guild. I was main tanking. I was, you know, leading raids. Uh, we were raiding like three or four times a week. And it's like, it was a, it was a job. That's all I played. I didn't play anything else. And I missed all these things. And so it, it's kind of nice to go back and, and play them now. But WoW was 100% a job. Yeah, absolutely. You may mind less Mass Effect 2. And there's so many good games. There's so many good games. I'm, I was talking the other day to like my wife. I was like, I'm so lucky to be, uh, I, a lot of people I'm sure don't think so, but I'm like, I'm so lucky that my life has spanned like the, the so far anyway, the adaptation of video games. Like uh, when I was born, the NES was out, you know? And uh, so I kind of grew up with NES and then gone from there. And it's just crazy. I, I've been really, I was fortunate. We get some people in the channel sometimes they are like 14 and they don't even know like some of these games existed and things. What was it? Oh man, this isn't game related, but not long ago we had someone in the channel and they are 14, they are 14. And they, we were talking about the show Cobra Kai and I was started talking about some of the things that like harken back to Karate Kid. And they were like, and they were like, yeah, I don't understand why the show, the show had like, it's so weird because it doesn't have uh, Jaden or, it or like Will Smith's son or whatever, and I don't understand the connection. I was like, that's not the original Karate Kid. And they're like, what? I was like, you think the Karate Kid with Jackie Chan is the original? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, you need to go back. And so they went and watched the actual originals after I told them about it. But anyway, uh, it's just interesting when you have people like that come in that like born after some of these games I'm talking about and uh, shows and whatnot existed. Um, why doesn't it let me go back to the frost bags? What? Zoomers. 
It's weird to feel old in your 30s. What's going on here? I was just at the Frostbacks. Why can't I go back? But I can go to some other places. Hmm. I wonder if that War Table mod is screwing some stuff up. So we have a War Table mod that's making some of these take less time because otherwise it'd take many, many, many streams to finish them. That's not good. I guess just literally not letting me go to the Frostbacks. What if I... Yeah, I'm wondering what if I could do this. Jump to map. Weird. That works. Alright. Hmm. No backtracking for us. Okay. Well, at least we know how to fix that now. Fix it. Hopefully it doesn't pop up again. <clears throat> it's people. But no, we've, I've ran into that with some games, too, where I talk about a game on the stream. Uh, and someone's like, man, that game came out before I was born. I was like, no, 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 no. That game's only 10 years old. And I look, and it's like, it's like 22 years old or something. It's like, oh, God. Sarah's card looks really lewd. Yeah, I, I... It's hard to get used to saying something was like 20 years ago or something. It's like, what? I shouldn't be able to say something was 20 years ago and remember it. We are closer to 2050 than to 1990. Hey, you stop that. <laughs> like, yeah, like Brood War, yeah. Over 20 years old, Brood War. Should have the horse. Turned 40 in April, and she was still 10 years ago. It's used sometimes. Oh, I mean, my nose. Allergies are bugging me today. Hello, Sigrid. You have some explaining to do. You returned. The auger told me why you're here. That, that shatter jay. What business is it of his to tell that to a lowlander? About the ritual you were performing, Sigrid. I had to burn a proper offering, then let my guiding spirit free. I made the offering the gods did not accept. I found a bird and incense by the altar. They weren't burnt at all. I, I brought more than I needed. When I fled, I left everything. You would have needed to take the lyrium at the start of the ritual, not the end. Aye. And so? The vial I found was full. Mm -hmm. Do you accuse me, stranger? What I saw doesn't make sense. Like you never did the ritual at all. So even a stranger senses my shame. I made no offering. I prepared. I began the spell to release the spirit here, with me. And? I could not do it. I have no close companions in the hold, no kin. I cannot lose my only friend. Hmm. Some of your favorite games from, like, early mid-90s to, yeah, 30 years or so? Yeah. Definitely. You're friends with this... spirit? It has taught me with patience and kindness since I was a child. Frightened of the fire, I could suddenly call down. A great comfort. But you are no longer a child. Some mages need the help of a god all their lives. Very well. Perhaps, however, ask yourself if it is help you need. 
or companionship. I do not want to lose the one who loves me. So how does your teacher feel about this? Does it... Will he want to stay? He would, if I asked. The gods that teach the spirit touched a kind. I think the Augur knew. All this time, he knew I never cast the ritual. It is not right to stay in pity. I will confess to him. Found your old Atari 2600 box appearance. No console, but kept the box for some reason. I don't know. I don't know which one of these I want to tell her. Like, we can have her confess, but she doesn't... She's an out... She's kind of like an outcast, right? She's at least a loner of this tribe. She's definitely an outcast, yeah. So we could ha ask her if she wanted to come chill with us. That might not look good to the people in the village, though. I'll have her go back. It's for the best. Maybe the auger will help you release so have your 2600 too. spirit friend. I do not need his help. I would, I would ask for his advice. Farewell, Lowlander. All right. You returned. I'll be on my way. I'll be on. Goodbye. My way. <laughs> it's been a while since I mentioned it, but uh, sometimes you'll be talking to people in this, and there is an option for is there anything else? There's that option, whether there is something or not, and you can keep asking them that. And sometimes they'll just keep telling you things. Is there anything else? And they say something. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? And it's like, oh my god, imagine that in real life. Like someone's probing, I guess, but... Fade touched creatures. Are you sure? And they're like, yeah, yeah, that was it. Are you, are you wanting me? Is there something you're looking for? Am I supposed to be telling you something? I don't know, is there? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, I remember this place. I remember this place. Okay, so three fade touch creatures. I'm good at killing creatures. Innocent or otherwise. Role playing now. Yeah. There's a reason why that command exists, yeah. Peta. Yeah. Are they way down there at the river? Oh, I see some red marks down there. I think that's spiders, isn't it? Whoa! Fade touch spider. It's a t level 23 elite. All right. Why can't we have fade touch tuskets? <laughs> like, what are these fat aardvark wombat things? Why has it got to be giant spiders? All right, what's the best way down? It's probably actually going to the tree and going up that little gully area. Also weird playing a 3D game after yeah, I haven't played one in a while, yeah. It's weird. I don't even think I played one off stream, like even a little bit. Yeah, I've been playing uh Rimworld and then off stream on Monday nights my wife and daughter have been playing uh Stardew, so. Those aren't animals, they're mobile material resources. Sad but true. Where are my friends? Hello? How do you get knocked over there? Die. 
I gotta remember to uh, use our new move on this next fight. We got this new shock move. Go away, spiders. I need the fade touched one. Who did it? Someone pull something? <clears throat> hey, it's Philanderous. It took us a long time to find one of those. Still wearing the nipple armor? Yeah, yeah, man. I hope to be in the ending. I hope I don't find better armor. So when we beat the game and everything's all, whatever happens, I don't want to know. But everything's all like dramatic and whatnot. It'll zoom in on me with my nipples out. That's my dream. Let's try this new move. Oh god. What's the only pop me up in the air? Also, why did that one turn friendly and run away? I just gotta chase it. I'm not sure what pop me up in the air. I mean, I'm talking about nipples again. That's what this game is about. Dragons and nipples. Where'd that fade touch spider go? You have to like chase it down and kill it or beat it a couple times or something. <laughs> Turn friendly because sp spiders are friendly and not evil. That's true. IRL, I try to save the spiders. Anything that kills a mosquito is a friend of mine. Well, not anything. I know sometimes I say that and they're like, but Adam. If Charles Manson was to kill a spider, would you be his friend? No. Any creature other than humans that kill a mosquito is a good creature. <laughs> Where does this stupid thing go? Got every Friday play some D. D and <laughs> Nipple Master is so good as well. Close your eyes, it's like Dungeons flying. and nipples. A bet, anyway. Don't do it, you'll fall. Which is flying, but shit. Yeah, the scan thing. We are talking about how that's annoying earlier, yeah. Where did this fade touch spider go? What the? Hello? Is that the red arrow on the map? We'll go that way. It might be out of this purple zone. I'm thinking we have to like chase it to a new area and kill it. But... Yeah, who knew the Inquisitor was a bat? Even a larger mosquito? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's 
now really the time for a conversation, so let's... The epitome of human primacy. <laughs> Nipple primacy. How big the spires are in this game? Yeah. Especially that one. Holy crap. Fade touch just means on steroids. Let's go on belt. Welcome in. Bojangles. Thank you for being here. Plus 40 maximum guard. Increases maximum guard by the specified amount. What are you wearing? Oh, that's a weird question. Hey, Tom, what you wearing? What kind of belt you got on, buddy? Yeah, this one's an, a direct upgrade. Nice. I think he's been wearing this other one for a long time. There you go. Like, Blackwall needs more survivability. He can solo dragons. No defense, any gla class can solo dragons. Yeah, but it is just kind of crazy that uh, you can just leave him on AI on the hardest difficulty, or on the hardest difficulty, and he just doesn't die. I don't have to control him at all. You just throw him on the dragon, and he basically takes no damage. It's, it's always surprising. Okay, I know where. Yeah. That's the door we went into earlier. All right. So the rest of this we've explored. Uh, the next fade-touched creature. There's one by the tent over here. We'll grab this one. How far along are we now? Uh, I can actually go beat the game right now. We have the final quest, but I'm doing one of the DLC areas at the moment. All right, where's the fade touched? That must be you. Yeah, so uh, basically all we have left is DLC and the final quest, yeah. Yeah, it used to be on story days. The average on story days, it used to be... I can go back and check, but it generally was about 70 people. Dragon Age Inquisition, we usually average about 70. Occasionally it would pop up to like 100, but overall throughout the, the course of a stream, we would average about 70. I have no idea how many people are here today. I don't have the numbers up during the stream, as you know. Philanderous. Alright, there he is. This is my team. Fighting other crap up there. Come to me. Turtles and chill. Turtles and chill. Hey, Dave. Thank you for the 100 bits. 2.5 million viewers right now. Man. I'll never reach 3 million. Let's go, Davey. Let's do 100. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys for being here. Um, we'll be back on RimWorld tomorrow. So those of you that are like, Where's RimWorld? Adam always plays RimWorld. Is he done with RimWorld forever? Oh, we'll RimWorld tomorrow. Companions, yeah. Companions help to kill things faster. These damage sponges.
That Earth Shatter move is actually pretty pretty nice. So the reason I didn't take Earth Shatter sooner is I thought it actually had a stamina cost. I never realized it had a... It was just free. It's just cooldown based, which is incredible. Uh, the other thing that's really awesome about it being cooldown based, obviously we can use it anytime self cooldown, but my character, I built him around crit and resetting our cooldowns. So I wish I had gotten that a long time ago. I just, uh, I don't know why I didn't realize, uh, realize that until now, but it's really good. Time for a second Mass Effect playthrough. You know. <laughs> I really enjoyed Mass Effect, though. Uh, anyone, so, for anyone that likes these story games, I do have some of them up. Some, they're all blind playthroughs on the main YouTube, but some of them I never put on there, and they're on the secondary channel. So, uh, the secondary channel is just an archive channel, and things like the entire map. I played through Mass Effect 1 through 3 blindly probably about four years ago, almost. Something like that, three and a half, four years ago. Uh, Exclamation 2 in D, or you can look for Adam versus Archive on YouTube. It's where some of that old stuff is. Though, I don't know how you remember where you are. It came back pretty quickly, yeah. I think it's because I was so, um... When I was playing this once a week, I was very involved with the story of it, right? So I read, like, all the lore, all the... Everything. All the codex, all the quests, all the books. And so I think it was easier to kind of just dive back in after that. And all the moves, just muscle memory. But the reason why the moves are so easy to remember is I always put my moves in MMOs this in the same setup. No matter what class it is, my movement skill, I don't know why, is always four. So, like, I mained a warrior in WoW, and four was my charge macro, for instance, back then. Like, AoE on five. It makes it easier when you dive back into these games to have this kind of universal setup for me. But... No, I never did. I haven't uh, played Andromeda. It's still on the to-do list. Lurkers. They're just babies. They're just babies. <laughs> Maybe most of the time as well. It has been three years since Mass Effect. That's crazy. Rogue for life for you. Oh, I, I see the, the mama. How many resets is that? It's gotta be close to a new record. There was so many. I thought the record was 12. Yeah, didn't you keep track of it last time we were playing? Put me to sleep. That was quite a bit of resets on a single target there, though. It was like four on a single target. It's much easier on uh, AoE. Stay behind it, but it's like bounce around everywhere. Play a different game, minus eight mood. <laughs> Only Should two resets at a time. So give it to the hold and make Finn's life shit, or give it to Finn. We help him. Not ask him. Do it. A generous thought that bends the laws of their tradition. Whether the other or their spirits would see that as an act of kindness or disrespect is hard to say. Oh, there's probably an elven rune here. It's got that. Welcome in. Drink some sakai tea. Uh, Davey, they were the resub. Oh my God, man! Thirty-five months. That's a long time. Back to a year streak. Davey, I cannot, I will never forgive you. Guys, I had to take a month off the stream. It was vital 
for me and my family. We're not survived, right? I had to take a month off the stream and Davey didn't subscribe to me the whole month that I wasn't streaming. Can you believe that? Just ridiculous. <laughs> I absolutely don't blame you for that at all. What a monster. How dare you not give me five dollars in a month that I produce zero content. <laughs> More like turtles in shame. <laughs> I made it up. I have a second account that also subscribes to you. Please forgive me. Turtles and chill. Turtles and chill. Man, like every time we get one of these torches, it ends up meaning there is a elven rune somewhere. I swore I, I heard it back there. Is it up? I hear it, like, right here. Your eye looks very different from what you remember of this one. I haven't played it in a long time, though. Let's go on Fury. Welcome in. I give you terrible YouTube advice. Speaking of terrible YouTube advice, um, I meant to tell people on the Discord. So, I had the YouTube up for the channel for, like, five years. Five years. It took five years to get a million views on YouTube. We just hit 2 million views. The second million only took two months. That's crazy. So those of you that watch on YouTube, thank you for watching on there as well. Also helps out a ton. Met a lot of new people coming to the stream from YouTube lately. Can't believe it took five years for the first million and the second million only took two months. Absolutely nuts to me. You're a teetotaler. What? Saw the name, but it has Turtles and Chili. That'll get you banned at his channel. Oh, God. I'm not sure this is where I'm supposed to go, but. Turtles and Shame. I like that, actually. Tier 4 rare metal. High armor rating, damage, staff damage type is fire. Cost each health, armor pin. That's pretty interesting. Teetotaler. Unable to join the colony. Where is this friggin' rune? They wouldn't have given me this torch if there wasn't a rune. Solus, can you survive falling from really high places? use you so I don't abuse others. Only one way to find out, Solus. He's fine. Alright, let's try the other side. Achievement unlocked. It's Peter Pan it. You know what? I think I'm literally hearing the torch and not the runes. Oh, there has to be a reason it gave us the torch. That's why I, I hate that. Like, it's, it, I don't fault the game for it at all, but it's like... I know you gave me this torch! Time reminder? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Alright. We'll go turn in the quest. The runes usually don't matter. Like, there's some that do, but it's usually literally a rune for your weapon, so. Oh, well. All right, so let's go, let's go turn this in. I'm either going to make Solus unhappy or we're going to make um, Sarah unhappy. Oh, well, Sarah already is unhappy with us, so. Whatever. Whatever, Sarah. 
three hours later. I know they gave us this torch for a reason. That has happened. Yeah. Horses in this game are not like the ones in Skyrim either. Good. Not great for traversing mountains. Souls and Sarah have all the combo. I know they always want the opposite of one another, but they have a lot of really interesting interactions. So, honestly, though, I've built my party not around story, although I've come to like all three of them. It's. Blackwall just tanks everything without dying. Solus gives us uh, buffs and tears off buffs from enemies. And Sarah just does ungodly amounts of damage. Alright, do I give it to Finn or do I give it to the Hunt's Master? You watched Dan accidentally ride a horse to a train last night? Old E2 Red Dead play? <laughs> Uh, pretentious. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the four months. Hey, we were talking about you and the Karate Kid earlier. Thank you, Pretentious. They were coming back. What do I do? Do I follow their traditions? Well, the thing is, the person is already skirting what's allowed by... The person is already... What's her face? Is already skirting what's allowed in their tradition by allowing me to turn it in. So, Finn can't turn it in because he has an injured leg. And so he was basically going to be shunned. He's not going to have his father's name and all this other crap, whatever. And because he can't do it. But in a kind of going around the rules sort of thing, she's like, but if you give it to the Hunt's Master for him, and we talk to the Hunt's Master, he's like, yeah, you can do that. But you're going to get credit for it. So we can either follow their laws or we can kind of skirt the edges. And the thing about it, Solus is saying that if, like the spirits, or they see them as gods, but the spirits here, we don't know what they would, they want. Are the spirits married to these old ways, or would they be happier with us helping this hurt person? During the school days, during the school year, gotcha. Oh, we were just talking about how, um, when we were talking about Cobra Kai, and you thought that the Jackie Chan one was the original, so. What am I going to do as a party member in Kai? Oh, I'm 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 there to look pretty with my nipples out. And occasionally do some damage. I'm I'm actually crowd control mainly. I have so many stuns and things. I think I'm going to give it to Finn. If I'm following in the consciousness of myself as the character, I give it to Finn, so. You did think it was originally. Yeah? Inquisitor. All right, here you go, Finn. Anger the IKEA, 30 seconds. Hello, everyone. Uh, Zara, welcome in. I haven't... That's another thing I meant to talk to people about. I actually have a new thing. So Twitch is rolling out this thing for partners that is supposed to make ads less intrusive for people. But what it does... It, like, right now, you can have uh, pre-roll ads disabled if you run an ad, manually run an ad, every 30 minutes. Right now, they're giving me a setting. They're like, we'll turn off pre-roll ads forever but it, we will automatically run a 30 second ad every 30 minutes. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it, but I do hate pre-roll ads. I wish I could get rid of them in a better way. Last an ad block. Yeah, I don't get paid very much for ads. You can just use ad block and then give me like five bits and some net profit on my end. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. Here, an offering for your father. Jaden Smith, yeah. From you. Inquisitor, I can't. Consider my gift to the whole a gift to you. Though perhaps don't spread that around. Hopefully this doesn't cause some crap. Said he'd accept an offering from the hand that gave it. Uh, I, I don't know what to he say. He did say that. Say what they want, and you can belong. But maybe when you figure that threatening you was shit, come look for a Jenny. Usually get timed out for for talking about ad block on a partnered stream. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm not going to. How the pop up in the stream at the bottom they have started doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. Yeah, if you're subscribed, you won't get ads here either way. Yeah. I'll let you rest. Partners can turn that on and off. I have it turned to where if you're a subscriber, whether it's Gip Sub or whatever, Prime Sub, you won't get ads. All right. 
Turn to the woman preparing bodies. She was down below. Twitch has ads. It does. A lot of ads. A lot of ads. Did we ever go in this house? I think we did, didn't we? I never came in here. Welcome again. Oh no, no I didn't. Oh, I, okay, yeah, I walked on this table. The door was uh, shut, so it's like I've never been here. Yeah, there you go, walking on the table again, perfect. That's how I remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I walked across their feast earlier. Saw an ad once. You had a mid-roll ad. I get pre-roll ads a lot. Rough. Live television, but without designated ad breaks. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There's a... There's literally just uh, Elden Runes in here. I didn't even notice last time. The Death. An elaborate group of... Wait, he's still carrying the torch, isn't he? This is just... Dumb luck that I found these ones then. An elaborate group of Velfire glyphs flickered to life. There was an impression of a great battle in the distant past. A spirit protectively watches over a Var from Stone Bear. They leveled up, see? Hold as they corner a rival group of a Var in a forest. They join in battle, and the spirit turns aside blades to protect the Stone Bear warriors. There is the Staff of Arrows, a Lash of Magic. The rival of our fall, and so does the spirit. The sensations fade. Yeah, I do need to wrap things up after this. So, there's all these runes in here. There's no way out. This is just dumb luck that we just happened to fast travel here with Solus carrying that. The veil fire ignites a complicated tangle of glyphs. There is an impression of mourning. A vow from Stone Bear hold prey and sacrifice to the spirit destroyed in the last battle. There is a sensation of months passing. The prayers are not forgotten. The vision fades. The return. As the last group of glyphs light with Velfire, there is a sensation of excitement and anticipation. And Avar Hold celebrates a night festival around an altar piled high with food and drink. The Thane begins a song. The Hold joins in. The song grows louder and faster. It goes for hours. As the sun rises, a blazing spirit appears above the altar. It has the name of the spirit that fell in battle. It is both the same spirit and a different one at the same time. There is an ear-splitting roar of triumph, welcome, something more. From the gathered Avar, the vision fades. This is why you just always carry a torch with us. It's like, alright, Solus, you're not attacking anymore. Just carry that. That's your job now. That's your job now. I'm told our Huntmaster prepares an offering from Finn Caldenson. Nothing more has been said. I will only thank you for paying hospitality to an invalid. I must complete the preparations. A strange turn of events may not make Calden's journey any easier. The gods measure both outcome and the actions, or deceptions, behind it. She'll be home in two hours, Ares. Chill. I should be off. Lady or killers mech breach. And now, the culmination of 150 hours of gameplay. We're finally going to find out who the killer was all along. The killer is... Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Ares. Alright, I need to go send off um, the War Sable thing before. What's up? Uh huh. My daughter stole my water bottle. Ares was. Yeah, he's still not completely used to it. He's gotten a little bit better at it, though. Occasionally he'll get up during the day and he's like, Where? Where's the small child? Small human, where is she? I desire petting by that one. <laughs> yeah, so anyone that was around for that. Basically, uh, Aries, one of our cats, uh, he's pretty clingy. And my daughter has been basically being homeschooled for two years. And so he's always around her. They sleep, he sleeps in her bed. Uh, you know, he's always around her when she was doing homeschooling and stuff. Now that she's back at school this year... He just sometimes walks around upstairs and like walks into her room and just walks around and just meows looking for my daughter. It's sad. You got an EMI met cluster with low and high shields. 
Uh, I guess the silence was just asked to wait for something to decimate them or poke them somehow. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do, Ryu. Uh, so one, if you have mortars, click on the high shield. The high shield, actually, they changed it back in 1.2. The high shield will recharge for an entire day uh, after a, like, 10-day period. But that 10-day period might already be partially in when it lands. So if you have mortars, I would suggest going ahead and checking the timer on the high shield. And then once the timer's down, then you can mortar the mechs to bring them in to you. Uh, and then later on, you can go out with smoke and finish the turrets and stuff. So high shields do go down on their own. Uh, if it's going to take too long, you can either call in allies if you have them, or you can uh, make an EMP shell for your mortars. And what you do then is you have multiple mortars. You put an EMP shell in one, put it on hold fire, put normal ammunition in the others, put on hold fire, get everyone set up at the mortars, and then you want to turn off hold fire on the EMP one first and wait like one second and then turn it off on the others. So if you hit a high shield with an EMP mortar, it disables the high shield, but it's only for like five seconds, but disables it for long enough for other shells to land. So those are usually your, your best options. Either wait for the high shield to go down, call in allies, or do a round with one EMP shell into explosive shells. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, just let me know. Um, I, I can elaborate on any of those if you need. Where's my favorite pet slave? That's right. Ah, uh, here we go. Ambassador, following the arrival of your letter, I invited my dear cousin Blanchard to Halam Sharal for an urgent consultation for the or on the Inquisition, during which time I had him his home thoroughly searched. A large sum of Tevinter gold was found in his chateau, as well as a room full of red lyrium. My cousin finds to say the Winter Palace shall be of some duration. Oh, whose Amulet of Power is that? Amulet of Power gives one skill. Um, it's like a, a one-time use thing to give skill. Oh yeah, no problem, Ryu. Hopefully one of those uh, works for you. But those are usually the best ways to deal with it, yeah. Alright, so now we can send her off. Uh, let's see here. There's the final quest, yeah. No, no, that's not the one. It's down here. Or somewhere. It's somewhere. Well, that's just a resource one. All right. Many of the nobility of the Orlesian capital have settled their secondary differences and are rattling behind two families. The Desrosiers, I don't know, are old money, well-respected, but viewed as traditional and stubborn. The Thai Bolts rose with a popular merchant consortium and are considered new money and progressive. Ah, uh, deliverance. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, deliverance. $25. Just dropping by to say, just found you on YouTube. I've been binging the No Odds playthrough. Great stuff. That's awesome. Thank you for uh, coming to let me know. Uh, more RimWorld tomorrow. So on Wednesdays, we play something else, but RimWorld the rest of the week right now. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the donation. Helps out a ton. Keeps me rimming. Very much for shoot. While the intent of both families was to rival us politically, we declare for one of them we may manipulate events in our favor. Lord Pirin Desrosier has not asked for our allegiance, but may respect our rising might. Lady Valise speaks for her investors and is interested in forward-thinking alliances. Draw a number of agreements that tie us to the little beyond ceremony that will gain the initial interest of the Tybolts. All right, we'll go with this. At your service. Thanks, Josephine. Uh, N-A-R-T-H, I think, is the command. N-A-R-T-H. All right. Well, I hate to wrap things up. I need to wrap things up about two hours early because I do have that uh, playtest thing I have to do today. So let me save this um, here. But it was fun to be back on Story Day. Tomorrow will be a full stream. Going in the recording too. Uh, Zar, thank you for the tier three. Uh, Zar, thank you for the resub. And tier three, I can't believe uh, that we were like at 10 or so tier three subs. It's unreal to me. Thank you, Zar. Very much appreciated. Much love to Zar and much love to Deliverance. It's shiny coat. That's right. It's made out of oven mitts. You're not the only one who struggles with... I don't know what the rest of that said because you died. 
Oh, you actually died too. It wasn't even Lunar timing you out. Look at that. And you were really unlucky with the death load commands. Holy crap. Hey, there's another one of those golden subs. Yeah, you've died like three times today. It's only a 33% chance to die to that. Uh Oh, we're only 130 hours in, not 150. Sorry, I think we're hanging out. All right, guys. Thank you again. Uh, it is very much appreciated. Thank you for being here. Speaking of uh, sponsors, stuff like that, and, and helping me continue playing RimWorld and whatnot, um, I need to announce this on Discord, and I'll, I'll do so tomorrow. Uh, but good news. I got contacted by NordVPN. Um, they were supposed to contact me by the 15th. They did. They said that uh, we did a good job on the sponsorship, and they're going to extend it for three more months, which is huge for me. I'm not allowed to say how much they pay, but it's 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 actually life changing for me. Well, life changing these three months for me and my family. It's enough to pay my mortgage bill. My mortgage bill is now paid for the next three months uh, because of this sponsorship, which is just insane. It's like such a st stress relief. I know some of you haven't been here for very long, but I recently had to uh, close down the business that we did for like 10 years. And the stream is now my only, or not just mine, but my family's only income. The stream is it. That's it. And we have a mortgage, we have bills, we have food, we have, you know, I have a child, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of, um, it's a, such a huge burden. Like, I don't know if it'll continue after those three months, but uh, it's a big stress relief uh, burden off my, my shoulder sort of thing. Um, so anyway, for those of you that have checked this out already, thank you for doing that. Uh, if you weren't, I mean, if it wasn't for you guys trying it out, they wouldn't have continued it. So they've continued it for three more months, which is amazing. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, if you're in the market for a VPN, try it out. Go to this link or just use my name. I am a customer. Like, even if they, I told you guys, even if they didn't continue it, I'm going to keep using it because it's already protected me. Uh, we had another, we had two of those hate raids where they come in and post their IP. But guess what? It said that I was in Chicago and I'm not. So uh, it doesn't slow my stream down. So I'm definitely a customer even after this. But I wanted to thank you guys really quickly, not just for hanging out, but for those of you that have gone to this link, checked it out. If you're in the market, um, it's a good one. I use it. All right, guys, thank you again. Have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow, 9.15 a.m. with a continuation of our high population, cursed jungle run of RimWorld, 9.15 a.m. Eastern time for that. That's uh, GMT minus five. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys again for hanging out during story day. Um, I'm glad to be doing these again, and hopefully you can continue them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow.